two of Gaming Star Game of the Year 2016. Already been an interesting and as we look to the recording long <laughs> Slightly longer than expected. <laughs> yeah. But we'll just keep going, we'll use the energy. We'll keep yes, going. we'll keep it going. So um, our next is biggest news of twenty sixteen. So this is category is kind of like the the thing that we saw that was either like very important to video games or yeah. just plain weird yeah. or exciting. Or great, yeah. Or anything like that. It's any any kind of news item that happens yes. during the year. So we have the closing of Disney Infinity. Yep. The Scorpio and Neo news yep. and release actually on PS4 yeah. Pro. Uh, Metal Gear Survive, the Death Stranding announcement. Mm -hmm. Bethesda no longer sending review copies. Yeah. The Nintendo Switch. Mm -hmm. Windjammers for PS4. Fuck yes. Guillermo with the Toro saying fuck Konami. Oh, that's pretty great. Uh, Persona 5 being delayed. <laughs> the advent of commercial VR, Pokemon Go, or the marketing for Battlefield 1. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. do we really care about Disney Infinity? Not really. No. <laughs> it's a bit, it, 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 it's, it's, it was sad, because that thing was actually really cool, I think the, the figures were really good. Totally, um, like, the reason why I was, I was, uh, I was there put that on was because that was actually turning into quite an impressive game. Yes. Like, right. actually, as a game, like, on top of all the, like, how you feel about Toys to Life or whatever it is, like, yeah. the figures were good, they had Ninja Theory doing work on that game, yep. they had a lot of really the good stuff. Yeah, they had, the fact that they had a, a developer that was known for, like, combat in Totally, games and it's like, hey, we want to do a combat system in our game, let's get Ninja Theory in. Mm. Like, it was shaping up to be something, like, I was on the verge of, like, we should probably, we should probably try have that, this. Yeah. Like, I got that Rocket Raccoon figure yeah. for Christmas, and... Um, I really wanted the Star Wars ones, but now I'll probably never be able to find yeah. them. And they keep releasing stuff, like, Oh god, I'm to have figures yeah. and all this kind of stuff. They showed the Guardians of the Galaxy ones. And you're like, oh, not Guardians of the Galaxy. There's some other thing that they showed the... Uh, uh, Force Awakens. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's really sad. Mm. Yeah. See, there was that. Um, the Scorpio Neo stuff. So that broke this year. And it was interesting because it was such a divergence from the way consoles have worked for now. And this was them actually going... Both hardware console manufacturers going, we need to do this yeah. for different reasons yeah. like what the, the, the Scorpio stuff was because I mean this is all speculation right but you can very easily read into the Scorpio was there because like we are lacking in power we need to make a big jump yeah. and this is us going we're making the big jump and the numbers that theoretically are coming out of the thing are super impressive yeah. and I have no idea they're going to sell it teraflops was it? like a bajillion okay. I don't know but, the but big like, number of teraflops but it was stuff like the, like the numbers are relevant kind of it's more the face of like they're saying they can do 4k 60 Native. natively yeah. which is a lie probably <laughs> or some weird perversion of the truth yeah but yeah we'll see so that was a big deal Metal Gear Survives a funny joke yeah the fact th that that thing came out and it's the fact that they're still making Metal they Gear games they didn't even give it a chance where Konami should have said if I was Konami okay knowing thank god I'm not yes but because everybody would hate you exactly yeah. if I was Konami and I was about to announce a new game with a Metal Gear title mm -hmm. I would okay. say hey we're announcing a new Metal Gear game yep in a week on build the... go hype right and then get depressed when it comes out yeah but what they actually did was like <laughs> a bunch of news stories came out going can I make a new Metal Gear game yeah and then you saw it and it was like this is what? like some weird Left 4 Dead co-op zombie thing four, yeah and they're zombies and it looks a lot like alternate the, universe yeah, yeah weird parts of Metal Gear 5 and what yeah um yeah contrasting that with holy shit Death Stranding what the fuck and all is the things that? surrounding Death yeah. Stranding yeah um, so that was because that was E3 this year right where they dropped the yeah. first trailer oh, was, with... was it no it was the Sony thing no the first very first trailer was E3 okay, and then sure. PlayStation Experience was right, the, okay. the, the flesh tank sure. trailer <laughs> the flesh baby yeah um, and you're like it's like that epitomised the reasons why I loved Kojima, Kojima. Yeah. it was just like here's a man who like Sony know what they're dealing with and basically they said here's he, some money he walked out on stage at E3 mm -hmm. to a fucking light bridge yep. that came out from under his feet yep. and then walked into a spotlight and basically went hey, here's a new game and that was it walked away get to that much credit yep totally and like and then there's like this continual slow bit of like oh yeah and by the way um, Norman Reedus is still in it yep. and weird 
cyber umbilical babies. Yep. And then PlayStation Experience happens and Guillermo de Toro is in the game. runs out yeah. and then is faced with a scary Mads Mikkelsen. Yes. And he's like, scary. this is like some, like all these people obviously have... We don't know what the hell's going on. <sighs> it was, it was, it was perfect. Awesome. Yeah, it was, it was a per- perfect. It's a perfect way of doing that game. Totally. And they did the thing where it was like, Things from the first trailer linked into things from the second trailer if you played them together and like the like, baby gets yes. transferred. Like when I, when and... I saw that article about like here are the links between the first two trailers, I was like, he's fucking doing it again. Doing it. This is Jorgen, uh, the Yoki Mongrim. Yoki Mongrim all over again. Yeah. This is great. Mobi I Next want Studios. like that game's not appearing for like at least a year. Yeah. Like I want a year of that. Of that. <laughs> I want more of this weirdness. Um, the Bethesda review copy thing. Yeah. Is like it. It's one thing for press, yeah. like so. This is this is basically that Bethesda actually came out with a proper statement and said we will no longer send copies of games Early out to review outlets to review to outlets to review. Yeah, but we are going to send it to some YouTubers, influencers, influencers. influencers. Sorry, um, who who are going to be sympathetic to our game? Yes, and also maybe a couple of outlets. But yeah, sh- yeah, um, and. I think for me, anyway, like obviously since we're not pressed, that yeah. half of it doesn't really matter. But as people who play and follow video games, yes, it's kind of a big deal. It's... We like I don't necessarily pre-order stuff anyway. Yeah, but like it was, it would be one thing if they had gone, we're not doing this because, like, there's no way for them to come out and do this in a way that's not like because we want to sell more copies yeah. of our game like they wrapped it in like we want everyone to have the same experience and it was like they, they wrapped it in the thing of like oh we didn't send out Doom early and look how well that did so mm. it must be this it's this complete like, like that had nothing to do with yeah that. that's not a yeah um, and like especially Bethesda putting out I mean Bethesda developing Bethesda games yeah. like if I they're not the most stable of, yeah if know. like the next Elder Scrolls game comes out and in advance I don't have somebody going Yo, this oh is and like yeah, yeah like either this is broken or like they fixed a bunch of stuff yeah. like zero interest oh, in yeah, getting any yeah. close totally. to that um, it's a big deal as people who consume video games where you're like this is even more reason to not pre-order shit yeah. because you don't know what you're getting pre-orders have been dumb since their inception yeah. and now you've got clarification uh, yeah. Of like, yeah and also like I think it's also like this completely anti-consumer move that they've just like the reasons they're saying they're doing this are not the reasons why they're yeah. doing this like this yeah. is a blatant thing and apparently 2k have been doing this for a while but they haven't had an official statement about sure. it Listen, at least Bethesda came out and said we're not doing this this is why we're not and doing then it. Yeah. completely ignored all of their own things and started doing it anyway but yeah figured um, Nintendo Switch, like we knew this was coming, yep. but like the f- exact form it took, yeah, was interesting. The interesting little thing of taking a screen to go and play with your buddies on the rooftop parties, totally. and... you know, all your millennial yeah. rooftop parties. There's a great actually. Um, I don't read it too often, but um, VG Cats have got a great <laughs> comic about Nintendo Switch where it's just like here's the douche from that trailer taking his Nintendo Switch to parties, yeah. and then the actual problems we would have, we're like. Oh no, like he takes it to the party and goes, Oh, we should all have a game. Oh, wait, let me just set this thing up. And oh shit, the batteries are in it. Oh well, you guys can just watch me play this thing with it. Uh, it's, it's great. But um, that was super interesting that, and with the way they're doing it as well, they're like, Here's the drop of this thing, and we'll tell you more in January. Yeah. That, like, that was just like, like yep, visit, they visited Jimmy Fallon yeah. at that point. Jimmy Fallon freaked out over Jimmy Fallon freaked out, and that's it. Like, yeah. we're not doing anything until we'll January. Tell you more in January, yeah. Which is kind of a ballsy move, but like but Nintendo, they can do that. True. Nintendo could do anything. But the problem is, like, that, yeah. But the problem is, you're, if you follow Nintendo for that long, you're like all it did was raise more questions yeah. and more worries about like all the stuff that they're doing. Like they need to be so not Nintendo to pull a lot of they this have, off. Yeah. Like we had a long conversation in the podcast about why this might be a problem. Yeah. But, you know, we'll see. Windjammers and PS4, just because we can so play Windjammers. Wind yeah. Like in a way that's not kind of fucked up. Yeah. But. Yeah, um, that's good. Yeah, good, did... good move by Sony. Oh, yeah. But like, that list. who's that for? That's for like 70 people. Like that is... Those 70 people will freak out. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> um, Fuck Konami by getting all of the tower is like, really good. So that was... That, so the moment this happened for context for people who don't know... Eh, who don't know, sorry. Was... Last year at the Game Awards, yeah. Kojima was supposed to get like a Lifetime Achievement Award. Mm-hmm. And Konami said, you're not going... Because he was still technically part of Konami at that point. So they belated it and 
like did a new lifetime award this year, but yeah. also like had a moment where they're like, Kaja- Kana- uh, Kojima won last year. We're now presenting him the award. Yeah. And as he was presented the award, since he's no longer part of Konami, yeah. There was three tweets from Guillermo de Toro, who has been discovered as a huge big. Well, obviously they were going to work together yeah, for yeah. Sun Hills before that got cancelled, and it was like this three this bang 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 of tweets going, like. Konami cancelling Silent Hills was the worst thing they could have ever done. Yeah. I'm super excited to work with Kojima. Yeah. Fuck Konami. Yeah. Like, in all caps. It was, it was this perfect moment of just, like, the the culmination of so many, like, a year of bad press for Konami and people feeling really bad for Kojima because he got Don't. shafted horribly. And Guillermo de Toro, of all people, just coming out and speaking for the masses and be like, yo, fuck those guys. And also, like, and it's really interesting as well because I, I, I start following on Twitter after that. Yeah. And he's totally not like that on Twitter. Like, he's really. No, he's of, a nice guy. He's yeah. well spoken yeah. and, like, really kind of, like, that's not the attitude he had. Like, he obviously meant this. If I was in that situation, I totally would have said but, that. But, like, as well. I didn't realize that him and, Kuna- uh, him and Kojima were that good, that we're close. close. Yeah. Like, it was a great, great thing. Persona 5, you're just bitter about Persona 5 being delayed. So bitter. Was it April now? April. But at least we get to listen to it in Japanese now. <laughs> Kill myself. Are you not gonna listen to it in Japanese now? No! I don't care! I'm just gonna play the fucking game in English! Yeah, true. And the advent of commercial VR, like, all three of those headsets came out this year. Yeah. And it was... To varying degrees of success. Yep. But, like, it's a thing now. Like, I can go and buy a VR headset and have... And a... it's a thing that now affects, like, people developing video games. And, like, they totally. have to consider, like... VR implementation and all yeah. that. It's like, do we? Here's a here's a here's a another platform we can yeah target. We can to get this thing yeah. that we're doing. I mean, we're still in the very early stages of like, uh, oh well, like we're gonna like we're we're having to develop like f- specifically for our VR, yeah. and we're still figuring out. So here's a shooting gallery. Yeah, but there's we're, a lo- we're testing the waters just to see totally. what. But there's a lot work. of like interesting variations in that where they're like. A lot of people have been doing like the first person shooter thing, but like stuff like Hard Reset is doing some interesting like here's where we're t- we're, we're doing something interesting with the movement. Yeah. And then there's like the and even the big people like Epic I can't, with Bullet Train, is that that demo that they put out? I can't remember. Which is like a super, super limited like yeah. thing, but done in Unreal 4, looks fucking great. Yeah. And it has a mechanic of like, you can fucking slow down time and pull bullets out of the air yeah, and just throw them back yeah. at people, like that kind of stuff. So excited, really, and really then cool. stuff like Rec Room, which is just like, as a bunch of stuff, and we're, we're just bump ex- each other, and, we're experimenting yeah. with it. It's such a cool. What well, can we do time. this? Let's throw darts at one another and Total. stuff. Yeah, yeah exactly. And um, Pokemon Go was just took over for a month, oh, a whole like, month. Like I, yes, I even I get into that thing. Yeah, it was everywhere. You couldn't escape it. Yeah, it and was like, on the news. It was on YouTube of people freaking out about Squirtles and Madison Square Garden. Not Madison Square Garden. Yeah. Wherever the big garden. It's the thing in New York. Madison Square Garden. Yeah. And Central Park. Everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. You couldn't move for it. Like, shops changed yeah. their whole, like, there were signs that were saying, hey, we're a Pokestop, come and hang out. Totally. And like, I, I got, because uh, uh, for the run up for the wedding and for, like, stuff we've done to the site, I I use this online printing company quite a lot. Yes. To make business cards and posters and, and all that kind of stuff. And they sent me an email about a week or two after the whole Pokemon thing, Pokemon Go thing hit. Yeah. Saying and they're quite a like they're quite a small company yeah um like they're, they're very kind of up and coming and very responsive and they sent me an email going hey we're doing a thing where like we've built a pack for your business where you can advertise yourself as a Pokestop and we've done some cool designs that you can put in your window and all this. I was like this has gone too yeah, far it's like crazy. the printing company I use are know about this and they're marketing for it like people in electronic stores are getting uh demos about here's how portable battery packs work for totally. mobile like, phones a- and like stuff Anchor and Anchor sold like yeah, went 50 crazy. times battery yeah. packs they normally do and, all this kind of stuff. and then the culmination of all that is that the drop of 15 million players <laughs> also that yeah. but also like Pokemon Sun and Moon did super well this year yes it did where like again the impact of that was the I saw it in a bus up here it was an advert for Pokemon Sun and Moon and it said like if you love Pokemon Go, here's yep. the next step with a quote from the Metro and you're like, fucking everything's Jesus. just yeah. come together at this point. Like, oh yeah, people remembered that Pokemon was a thing. Yeah. Um, and then the marketing for Battlefield 1 was just... Horrendous. <laughs> Disgusting. Like, we had <laughs> inklings of it from the moment they announced that yeah. game at E3 and you're like, this doesn't seem right, but they have to do their flash E3 trailer yeah, so yeah. maybe they'll get through that. 
and then like there was the battlefield onesie and then the hashtag, hashtag squad, squad goals. goals and like when you're on fire in the club to a gif of somebody with a flamethrower and you're just like every the part tactless and they didn't even like every single one of them came out everyone was like this ain't cool. You can't do this. And yeah. then they were like, oh, we're sorry, and pull a tweet. And then 12 hours later, the next again, one. Yeah. Like, it felt like this was all scheduled. It felt like, to me, it felt like the marketing guy who was responsible for their Twitter stream. Yeah. Had, scheduled tweets. Had then. scheduled all these tweets and then gone on holiday. Yeah. And nobody else had his passwords. It's like, oh, shit. Yeah. And it's like, we just have to keep fighting this fire as soon as it comes out. Just- like when did Steve schedule these things? It was like I think it was every four hours, and then the next one appeared. Like fuck, put the fire out! Like it was. It felt like there were two parts of the 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 company. Like, yeah, two people fighting each other. Fight each other. It was awful. And, but then Peter Moore was the person in the battlefield onesie. Yeah, he tweeted that from his account, and you're like, fucking, oh, Peter, what are you doing? You can't do that. It was a nightmare. So, so yeah. Oh, sorry, I missed one as well. There was also the mass exodus at E3. Yeah, where people, people were top, just not going. E3 where like, and... uh, who wasn't there this year? Like. There was a bunch of companies that yeah, weren't... just a bunch of stuff. So Nintendo weren't... They didn't, they, they didn't have floor space yeah, this year, didn't they? Space. Did they? I can't remember. They, 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 they certainly they, weren't presenting. No, oh, no, no. What they, they said was all they had was Wind Waker and Pokemon. That was, yeah. I think was what yeah. it was. Like, we only have these two games. Yeah. Um, they... Just a bunch of companies were just like, eh, it's not worth it, we'll do it ourselves. Yeah. And it was the start of like, hey, maybe E3 is not as relevant as it's it not was as big at this point. Which like, is sad, because we totally, like, enjoy E3. We loved it in E3 and like... It's still going to be a focal point where everyone's going to do like at least something around that time yeah. while everyone's watching it, but it won't be in LA. Yeah. So, I don't know. We'll see. Right. So what stands out to you in this as terms of like important things that happened this year? It depends on how you, if you mean important or like I, big. I mean, they're kind of both similar, right? Because like the marketing for Battlefield 1 that was atrocious is atrocious but and like we need to be careful to word that in a way that like this was fucked up and not I know that, that's, it. that's the problem is like I don't know if by giving it recognition that's a bad thing yeah like I mean unless we call it like the atrocious marketing of Battlefield horrible 1 horrible marketing of Battlefield 1 uh, um, maybe yeah but also I don't think it's like it's yeah. potentially up there but I think that the Scorpion and Neo was that's big. big that was a lot of talk and a lot, a lot of like wondering and and a lot of that's still to be shaken out I yeah. think like PS4 Pro came out and it's kind of yeah, like and it like makes stuff sometimes run worse and it's still and, yeah it's still yeah. kind of hardware wise it's kind of a mess yeah Um. so I don't know like, I think this time next year is part of the point where we go like both these these um half step consoles are out yeah and like what it's what Sony does in the run up to Neo uh, to Scorpio, Scorpio yeah. is going to be the interesting thing. Like how do they position themselves at a point where they are the weaker platform? Yeah, um, it's weird. Yeah, it's it's kind of an. It's, but it's but it is like super important because totally. it's, like, it's still like the advent of like this half step console. Yeah, you're going to be no buying. Ever thought you're, you might you could theoretically buy a console every four years yeah, as opposed is, to eight or yeah. ten or whatever. Which mm. is like it suddenly becomes more like an iPhone model where mm. it's like you're just upgrading because you can. And yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, so I think for me, this is Death Stranding. Yeah, I would agree with that. This is the Bethesda thing. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd I can see that. I think it's VR. VR's a pretty big deal. I'll but like, like Pokemon Go was a big deal. But I don't know, like, what it's actually done. It's not, yeah, it, all it did was have a lot of focus. And it was a flash in the pan as well, like, no, yeah. I don't know anyone playing that thing yeah, anymore. Exactly. Yeah, and I, also, it, was, it was just brought up to talk about it. Well, totally, like, yeah. yeah. Just to say, hey, this was a big thing that yeah. happened. So I think, yeah, I think it's Death Stranding, I think it's Bethesda, and I think it's VR. Yeah. Like, is there anything else in there you think is... The only other thing I think that could actually come close would be, like, Scorpion and Neo, and, like, maybe the Mass Exodus of E3, but, like, the Mass Exodus of E3 is still, like... I think... E3, E3, even without the name E3, is probably still going to matter. Like, sure, and I think, gonna... I think this is the tipping point, I think, depending on what happens next this, year, yeah, this year, is the is... point where they, there won't be a 2018. Yeah. Like, there's definitely going to be a 2017. Yeah. But, depending on who turns up for this gonna, year, yeah. or next year, this year, it's going to be a weird one. I would say that that three that you have is probably... Yeah. Yeah, it's probably... I, I, it's again, strongest. I would like it mentioned that that Battlefield 1 stuff was fucked. It's horrific. And it's you just, horrific. Like, bad. it was the worst bit of marketing I think I've seen in a yeah. while. Um, okay, so Death Stranding, Bethesda, not in review copy, VR. VR. What I think that like VR kind of wins. It's I mean, like it's, it's, it's here... a thing that's not only relevant to video games. It's like 
it's in the mainstream as well like people are asking what vr is and how they go about using totally. it and like the fact that it's now i think it's like because everyone who had been coming through with um who'd like done demos of this thing were saying no it works mm. but for it to go out to the mass market where anyone can buy it and mm. it works yeah like there's still there's still, there's stuff like space requirements and yeah. and all that stuff where and again it's it's still super expensive yeah and you need like machine requirements and you, and you need like a decent pc and all yeah. this kind of stuff like but it's still like it's it's the advent like it's the start of this, this thing is where it goes. it's probably going to be pretty big for the and next watch, few years and you watch because we recorded this just the week that um ces happened yeah and you watch i mean oculus did a little bit beforehand but you watch vive going right um doing their conference or their presentation at ces going like we understand where we're positioned on here like we are looking at kind of subtle improvements to the hardware yeah but also like we're coming up with we, we have the the markers which is like attack you can attach this to physical objects and then code for them yeah so they had an example and the, the example of like they had a baseball bat i was like sure it's a fucking baseball yeah. game right sure Maybe don't do that while blindfolded and like make sure your room's yeah. empty before you do that. But just sure. like a baseball bat, blindfolded. Yeah. But the one for me was that one of the things that they talked about in their, their press conference and was on display was they had a marker on the end of a fire hose. Right. And it was like, that's the big one where you're like, now it's real world training. Now it's ah, like, yeah. here's the use of it outside, like move video games away. Like, you know, video. As a- like tool. as a tool for like for actual yeah. real world things like it's now a big deal and they they know that and they're marketing that yeah, as well totally. um i think like this is going to be a big thing and i think this is yeah, going to continue think that's why it's, it's not going business. away yeah. like this was the year where it either like completely bombs yeah. or it skyrockets it starts, yeah and it's started it's yeah. maybe not done that but no it's, it's like more down on the graph yeah. but it's still there yeah and apart from apart from psvr it seems like it is generally works, flawless yeah. so yeah yeah we'll see okay i can see that the, yeah the i think vr probably wins and i think death stranding is really awesome and the bethesda with no review is copies is really interesting is interesting and worrying vr is probably gonna have impact for years yeah. and i think it's important also we say the commercial vr because like sure but like yeah i can go out as a schmuck and buy Just one pick up a vr headset and get yeah. it to work which is pretty impressive. Okay, yep. so biggest news 2016 is the advent of commercial VR. Yep. With Death Stranding announcement and Bethesda no longer sending review copies as our runners up. Cool. So next is... This is going to be interesting. Best visuals. Yeah. It's which is like a combination of like tech and art design. Yeah, so like... Because we can't have two separate. Yeah, because like we'd be there forever. And yeah. Like, but yeah, so this is not just like holy shit how did they do this like look how good this looks yeah. Yeah. there's also an element of like of art direction and design yeah. and cohesiveness yeah. is all part of this as well. so on this list we have uncharted 4 doom <laughs> overwatch inside no man's sky deus ex mankind divided fury watchdogs 2 virginia rise of the tomb raider tom clancy's the division and super hot mm um yeah there's a lot of things here so i'm immediately going to remove uh, virginia i can't remember why it was on here it's got really cool it's just a unique style it's, it's a cool style well, it's a unique style but i think overwatch uh, firewatch does it better <laughs> totally uh, and also like the, the the key parts of that are not the visuals it's yeah. the for me it's the music and the mm-hmm. the, the the storytelling understandable so i'm gonna move that down yeah uh i think that we can move down no man's sky yeah because it's like it's good but it's not i don't actually think it's that good it also is not as it doesn't meld together as much as it can like it the, actually that game looks rough at points yeah exactly but i, I think the reason why i put this on is because it was like the it was the, the physical design of a bunch of stuff like despite the fact that there's only like one type of building yeah like the fact that the buildings have elements that match the ships that match the space stations yeah, like yeah. it's all kind of together it's very cohesive but it's not um but it's not gonna it's yeah. not gonna hang on this stuff uh the division looks really good the division does some really good stuff and a lot of that as well is incidental things where and i keep finding new ones as well like when we were playing um the survival mm-hmm. stuff recently i noticed that if you run into if you uh, push yourself against a car for cover because the the snowstorm is so much worse than there mm-hmm. like when you go up against a car for cover like all the snow kind of falls off yeah. the side like i hadn't noticed that before that's pretty cool there's a lot of really nice yeah. touches in there where i could maybe see that 
hanging yeah. maybe in here. Uh, how do we feel about like Watch Dogs is good looking and that world is well realized? I think I think it's the art direction of that. Like it, it's not even the. Like, oh, yes, you're talking about like the men. The, I'm talking about the like UI the stuff. UI stuff, like that whole design of like the dead sec look. Yeah, is so unique and so like, and it could have been really shit. It could have been really they bad. They and they it, made it work. Like they took like, they took like, kind of seventies horror, or like, like B movie pulp, stuff, pulp yeah. horror yeah. stuff, yeah. and threw that onto like internet memes, internet memes and tech stuff, yeah. and like pixel art and all this kind of stuff yeah. and it still manages cohesively to yeah, work yeah unique look which yeah. then melds into like all the UI stuff and the text and the menus yeah. and the music and the loading stuff like all of it just starts to come together yeah. to a game that like it doesn't look like anything else out there and well when you're playing the game it does when you're playing the game it just looks like a third person yeah, action. yeah it's you're like right. when when stuff happens it looks unique yeah. but like if you were to just take a random screenshot of it you're it, right, just it looks look like normal. an open world yeah. yeah you're right it looks like GTA 5 or something like it has those moments where it looks great I agree with you but it's not it's I do, I do, I do that, think like, there's it also that... it's the thing that Ubisoft does really well that I think only Deus Ex is really is, is kind of similar where like everything every product and building in that game feels like it was designed by a person who mm-hmm. designs buildings or products right like yeah like the buildings of like their 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 fake google and their their fake um tesla yeah like you know exactly what they're doing yeah and they're they're instilling they're that smart, ethos yeah. but it's all very well put together but yeah. you're right i can totally see it being like it's an open world thing like you, you you take a random screenshot of that game and it's just a very nice looking totally. open world game yeah it's not it's unique, but it's not. It doesn't thrive in that uniqueness sure. a lot. It's just um, Overwatch is in here for the character designs, right? Yeah, yeah. The, um, the, the the character designs and how they are all so individual, but yet work together so, so well. I think it was I read a and work in that the environment of so the maps. Yeah. Like I worked, I I read a huge article on the development of Team Fortress Two. Yeah. And that was the moment where I realised a bunch of stuff that was kind of in the back of my head the whole time, where it was like, especially in a game like that, you need to recognise a character's silhouette immediately. Yeah. And that does that. Like, you could you could, you could, could literally silhouette all those characters yep, and you'd be able to see exactly, exactly who each one was. Yep. The rim lighting stuff, where, like, it makes a character pop out of the scenery, but yep. it still looks good. Like, yeah. And it's just, it's, and it runs exceptionally well on a bunch of hardware. Yep. Like, it looks better than it should, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, I could see that being a contender. Yeah. Um, Doom? Oh, Doom looks so Is this cause good. It, it... Like, they, they do, like, everything in that game. Like, everything down to, like, how the the Doom guy armor looks, to, like, how the weapons look. All the enemies look really unique. The, the environments are all cohesive and that they either feel like they're on the UAC or they're in hell but also are really unique because they're sure. different sorts of areas within yeah. the facility or within hell it felt a lot like and all the, the enemies look fantastic they do they do and like it's the the like the first moment in that in that first chapter where the where the, the first time the imp runs away from you jumps in the air turns around yeah, and throws, throws the fireball, the fireball. Yeah. I was like fuck okay they, they, they care about this yeah and like the, the, the first time the pinky comes out and you mm. see his like horrible face and then he just starts charging at you yeah. You're, it's you effective it's really effective. really 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 good art style yeah. okay uh what else we got in here fury fury looks real good it's real good and like it's real i unique. when i played that pc version and yeah. you can turn the resolution higher than your screen can do it yeah. and it downscales it like that's the first time i've seen a game being able to do that without any anti-alias or like it's the best i've seen a game look without anti-aliasing yeah and because you're scaling up and then scaling yeah. down or rendering up and scaling down yeah like it just removes every hard edge from that game yeah in a way that's totally like it's just it's unbelievable yeah. how good that game looks it's, a, it's, a, it's also got like a really distinct style. and again like it's unique character designs are great Every, but also show you like what that boss is and what he totally. does and, and I, you know. I didn't i don't remember any part of that game being like where again because like because the mechanics of that game are so tight yeah there's never been a moment where the visuals have like stopped you from from reacting like there's never a moment where like because of the way a character's designed like you miss a parry for instance because yeah. it gets in the road yeah, no. like the art has obviously been done by a 
like the art has led yeah but there's always been a moment where like how will this affect the gameplay yeah see they make everything distinct and yeah. totally like it just it looks great um rise of the tomb raider's fucking amazing on yeah. a pc but it's very similar to the previous one yeah there's some really great like, visual moments in that game yeah. especially with the the different the way they've managed to storify having like the snow bit and the forest bit and all that kind of stuff like they've done a lot to that yeah um, and especially the later section of that game where it gets like the the where it goes supernatural and the, the, the dead guys come back again yeah um, it's really good looking I don't know if it competes yeah it just seems like it's a, it's a style we've it's seen similar, before yeah. but it's a really good version of that but if it's a style we've seen before and it's a really good version of that the division's the same thing I don't know, like, again, The Division does, like... So is Watch Dogs at that point, like, Watch Dogs we've seen before. But I think Division is all the stuff we've talked about already, about, like, um, with Watch Dogs, with, like, like UI and cohesiveness of Oh, of UI design. Division's really good, yeah. And it's all of that on top of, here's this immensely detailed city that yeah. is recognisable. Okay, yeah, I can see that. With, like, all the underground sections... Then they did the survive stuff, which just, totally makes that game look different. Yeah, um, yeah. I, yeah, okay. I, I, that's I, there's I potential that. in there. I do not see a world where Deus Ex is not in this. Really? Oh fuck! Oh yeah, that game's got still like, like the fucking ass. Yeah, art direction wise, like nothing comes close to that. Yeah, like I'd say that's fair. Yeah, that is an entire game. That game like, oozes its style everywhere. Totally, like, it it feels like like every like the. Like, it's a level above what you expect from level design, where, like, when you go to the, the, what's the name of the, the, the Og ghetto place? Oh, I can't remember. But the, 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 the place where they, they send yes. the Ogs. Yeah. Um, like, that is a grimy, depressing awful, fucking yeah. place. Terrible place. But they have the, like, the, the bar lighting, like, hanging from the roof and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And then you get into the arc kind of layer and they've got them all done in the like the 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 angel wing yeah, the setup painting stuff yeah and just like and again like the detail of every single bit of that thing and like yeah. there's debris and all the building like the palisade bank yeah is a fantastic bit of level design yes that's and true and it's just glorious the whole way yeah and you're, right. you're I, right i i i genuinely like that is probably what i'm fighting for hardest in this whole thing and uh, we haven't talked about uncharted like that holy thing shit looks incredible like every single part of that thing like i could you could put uncharted 4 on this list just for characters totally like yep. those people the facial animations and the the way that those characters animate are cr- like unlike anything i've ever seen they look human and totally. it's it's scary how good it is but it's also those people in gorgeous environments that are all just like distinct and varied and they do different things that are totally. completely a, that game's unbelievable. Like that, the, that whole Madagascar section, the, the, the deep, it's just like that. Yeah, feels, that's unbelievable. It like, feels like it goes on forever. Yeah. And it's just like, it feels like you could just drive in any direction and go. Yeah. Even though it is very linear, but it's linear, still, but it, it feels great. It's amazing. But then they like populate the stuff like, and they, they end towards Madagascar when you're like walking through the plaza. Yeah. So it's like populated with people and it doesn't drop and they all look amazing and it's, yeah. Like, it's unbelievable totally. how good that like, game looks. And again, like, I have to separate the fact that, like, I would be more... Like, you're coming from such a high... Um, what would I say? Like, there's that expectation from Naughty Dog regardless. Yeah. Like, you go in going, like, it's really great. Yeah. But, like, even if this was, like, not a Naughty Dog production... Yeah. That would be even more impressive, oh, yeah, yeah. actually. Like, even it's, for Naughty Dog, it's the best it they've ever done. It the water. It's so good. And it's one of those things, again, like, not only is it a great game on its own... The, the, that game existing on this platform makes me so excited for the next Last of Us. Yes, because Last of Us too. Look at what they can look. do Ooh. with this thing. Um, yeah. Okay, I could totally see that. Uh, I think the Deus Ex and Uncharted have to be there. Totally. Um, Inside is really cool looking. Like it's a great style they've got. Yeah. And again, like the technical stuff I talked about with the the creature. Yeah. At the end, it's is really just, impressive. It's just great. Um. So what's our third then? Out it's of that really list? hard. <laughs> like this is the problem with with like combining like design and art yeah. and technical. Yeah. Because yeah, like Uncharted Four looks great, but like it's not. It's particularly not, like, like, like the actual yeah. things they're drawing are not particularly interesting. Yeah. It's yeah. Whereas stuff like Fury, the things they're drawing 
just the designs really are unique so and incredible. are really well designed. Yeah. It's yeah. Jesus. Um But also like how much of the design contributes to how good Overwatch is? I feel like I've been trying to separate in my head. It makes it makes that game feel more unique than other shooters. Oh, totally. Like, because those characters are so different and like it's like individual. They, they took what you... they took what the, what Valve did with Team Fortress, where they 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 gave each of those characters like a fake backstory. Yeah, and personality and, and personality yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Where like you know, like the, the the moments of like the pyro who can't actually say anything except. But that's the like, thing. That like, that kind of Valve, stuff. But Valve, think about that. Valve did that with not not only their design, which was quite impressive, but they also back that up with the meet the whatever mm. video series whereas with overwatch as soon as you load overwatch you know how distinct these characters are whereas if you load a team fortress yeah they're distinct but they still all look roughly from the same sure. sort of place whereas overwatch you can tell instantly like these people are unique individual people totally. all have different skills it's yeah um and like the the designs are really kind of and the le- like the levels look great and are well designed totally. and it's it's he, like there's some stuff in that um in those levels that are just they just look phenomenal yeah. they really do um like the whole um numbai level where there's just like like ads for everything all over the stuff but it's all mixed totally. in with this kind of weird african ancient totally it's it, and great, it's, great, it's great what people have been saying I, I saw a bunch of people talking about the the map that came out yesterday oasis oasis yeah. which is like it's I, can, I wish i could look remember it's either iraq or iran yeah. or it's one of the one of those two places yeah which is like it's not like what video games do those countries as it's like the war stuff done yeah the combat stuff done look at this built up here's yeah. it built up in the future when and like here's the 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 the, the actual the, the cultural parts of this and yeah. that have come back and they've done that really well with like a bunch of places like again the Dubai level the Greek level is Ilios. great because yeah. like I didn't even I didn't mention anything I was playing Ilios yeah and my wife was over my shoulder but that looks really Greek and they're like they're, they fucking yeah. nailed that yeah. it's because it's Greek um yeah it's it's a real strong one yeah like, they did a really good job they, with did, that. they did a really good job with the visual design and yeah. implemented like it looks although although good. Overwatch does have Reaper in it so it kind of loses Reaper looks cool come on <laughs> Right. It's with two shotguns and it's great. Conceptually, yes. Yeah. But it's really it's, it's no, 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 no. It's unfortunate that the people thing that ruined ruins Reaper. the thing that ruins Reaper is when Reaper talks. Yes. Like be, looking at Reaper, it does exactly what you think it is, which is like make you go, Oh fuck, that's scary. But as soon as he talks and he's all like, oh, I'm gonna kill Reaper you. Reaper should be what they should have done with Reaper is just basically do the, the Pyro from Team Fortress thing. He shouldn't speak. He should just go. No, not even that. He should just be able to do like, like do the the voice he has, which is like the weird ethereal thing. But he should only just be going. Yeah, you're totally... like it's not uh, no speaking. The, or... the whole joke should be that like he just mutters under his breath and everyone understands. Yeah, him. he's like okay, sure. Which would have made that goddamn uh, sombra animation really funny. Totally. Whereas yep. he's like standing at the door going, yeah. and she goes, oh shit, <laughs> yeah. that would have been great. Totally. But, yeah. Um, I can see Overwatch for this. I can see a lot of things. For I can this, see a lot of this for it. Um, to be honest, I yeah, I think Fury's real strong. Fury's a really good looking game. <sighs> Why don't you mention Super Hot? Super Hot, yeah, but uh, Super Hot's a really distinct style, but it's really simple. It is, and it's but the and the subtleness to that design as well that you only really get after a while. Where like it's not just flat color; like all the color is like cross hatched yeah. slightly like the reds are all really tight mm. reds tight they're really reds are they, tight. They, they stay tight yeah um they're they're they stand out like yeah. they're, they're, they're so bold yeah. in that world um yeah you've, oh, you've to talk- be honest i kind of like the top three yeah like you've talked me yeah. down from watchdogs um again division for me is purely just ubisoft being Doing it's their really stuff good. It's really good, but, but it's not the same. I think that the top three that we have are good combinations. Yeah, like I can't like as as I really enjoyed Uncharted Four. Yeah, and I cannot at all fault any no, of that visuals of that yeah. game. I just wish what? it was more interesting. No, I know, but it's 
but like it's it's undeniable. It's, yeah, it's undeniable how good that thing is. It's yeah. it doesn't have to win. It just has to. No, be it there. just has to. It, it does have to be there. Yeah. So I think that's our three. I think that's our top three, and I think it's Deus Ex. So we've got Deus Ex: Mankind Divided, Uncharted Four, and Overwatch, and yeah, I think Deus Ex. It has to be like yeah. this is. That thing is not only technically impressive, but designed fantastically. They've done a world that is yeah. just so... Like, every bit is so different, but it all feels like a proper world. Like, having been in Prague, like yeah, I mean, seeing yeah. seeing Prague like that, yeah. where you've got all of the old architecture, and they've just kind of layered the, the stuff, new stuff on top of it. Top of it. Yeah. But, like, in a way that's obviously been done by a government, where yeah. you're like... You, this is a listed building, so you can do your stuff, but you have to show that, like, yeah. it just feels like it's, it's, it's been it's there. It's awesome. It's just it awesome. Just, yeah. yeah. Best visuals, Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Yep. Yeah. I, I'm okay with that. With Uncharted 4 and Overwatch being our runners up. Yep. The fucking, oh, the fist fights we have over, over this every single year. I think this is going to be pretty straightforward, to be honest. Our top three, probably. Yep. The winners, maybe not. Eh. Um. So, best soundtrack. Yep. So, this is, again, this is... This is all of the music in a game as a whole. Yes. Um, so and how I, the game uses it. Yeah. And, so as opposed to best original song, which was a song written specifically for the game, soundtrack could include licensed music. Mm -hmm. It could include, um, again, uses of the music and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. So we have... Best soundtrack, we have Firewatch, Doom, Fury, No Man's Sky, I Am Satsuna, Deus Ex Mankind Divided, Virginia, Hyperlight Drifter, Watch Dogs 2, Polybridge, let it die res infinite tom clancy's division uncharted 4 and stardew valley yep uh let's do the res infinite thing we can't we can't it didn't come out this year i mean res infinite no came i know that's year. what i'm saying we can't have it on this list no, we like, can't is it is he if if we were to somehow create a loophole where that was included it would win which is no i yeah. think i think if we'd done this in dude it you can't beat the rest soundtrack. I think we've done this in 1998. Beat. You're right. The game wasn't even out in 1998. It's not in 1998. It's a PS2 game. This is like 2004 or something. Res Maybe 2006. Release date. It's not 1998. 2001. Yeah. Close. Um, yeah. I, I, there are a number of things that are better than the rest soundtrack on this. And I fucking love Res. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But yeah, we can't include it. Okay. Uh, things uh, we can instantly get rid of. Uh, Uncharted 4. It's really impressive soundtrack. Like, really, really cool. Really good at drawing the ambiance and setting It's a real good orchestrated like soundtrack. But it's but just an orchestrated soundtrack that's kind of boring. Nothing, like, I it's could, not boring. I couldn't tell you a song off that. Yeah. Uh, um, the Division, again, that DLC. Better than... And really also, like, good. the soundtrack in general is better than it... Yes, I expected. It should yeah. be for, for something like that. Totally. But I don't think, don't think it's, it hangs. It hangs in here. Um... Let it die is really funny. So let it die is an interesting one, right? Yeah. I like there's a world where that is in the top three, right? Mm. Oh yeah. Because I've never seen a site or the website of a game that lists the artists contributing soundtrack that is that big. Yeah. Like there are so many artists. Yeah. On that. And they thing. all work. And they all work. It's... And they're all. They've all written a song, at least one, yeah. for that thing yeah. that has the word Let It Die in it. <laughs> yeah. And like Winnie's on that soundtrack, and I didn't know, and I was playing that game and it came on, and I almost flipped this fucking <laughs> table over. Like. And there is, there is a world where that is a top. Okay, well, leave I'm it. not getting rid of it for now. We'll leave it, right? we'll leave it, we'll leave it. Um, uh, Hyper Light Drifter. So I never played that. So I, I haven't played it either, but I like pay attention to a lot of game soundtracks. Hmm. But Hyper Light Drifter. Has a soundtrack that I would describe as Blade Runner esque. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a lot of really ambient. It's a dude that did it. It's disaster piece. So yeah, disaster piece. I think I'm really, am talking, sorry. really good ambient kind of electronica that kind of sits in the background. And but the only qualm I have with it is that the soundtracks all really similar. Sure. There's not a lot of like distinct like I can tell this is for a boss or whatever. It's all just kind of blends. Right. Which isn't great. It's disaster piece, yeah. Yeah. Is. Um, which I think can sure. Can like I, I, I just wanted to talk about it because it's really okay, interesting sure. and unique. I, 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 I haven't done anything with yeah. that game, so I'll, I'll have to devolve that to you. Polybridge is oh, it's so good. It's a, <laughs> it's so good that it's like it's just a guy playing guitar, and it's it it fits that game so perfectly. 
And all the songs are great. Okay, I'll leave, it, I'll leave it for now. I love that so much. Um, <laughs> like, it's, it's probably not making a top three, but it, I I really, really okay, love that. I'll leave, it, I'll leave it for now. Yeah. It's Watch Dogs 2 on this list because Don't Sweat the Technique is on that 90% soundtrack. of it <laughs> is because Don't Sweat the Technique is on that playlist. Also, to be also fa- that Latin station is really good. That Latin station is yeah. real good. And, like, the, the original music they've got in there is pretty good as mm-hmm. well. Um... But also there's Don't Sweat I don't think it's It I, doesn't hang I don't but think it's the same Don't Sweat but, It's a really good song But Again Soundtrack is better than I expected yes. it to be Absolutely No Man's Sky No it, It's 6 5 Days of Static It's good A lot of that soundtrack is really good I like 6 5 Days of Static It fails because usage in game is poor Yes Like every time you take off from a planet It's that same song Yeah and It works once and then it works stops working maybe yeah. two or three times um, it worked go, once for me. <laughs> go listen to that soundtrack on its own and it's good. Yeah. Usage in game, yeah. not really. Um, what else can we very quickly get rid of? Firewatch? Yeah. Like, it's Firewatch a, is really good and it, it works really well in the game. It does work really well. And again, it's it's a tone thing for that game. Yeah, it's the, the pieces are very good at setting the tones for the specific situations. Like the, the scene where it's like you and Delilah looking at the forest fire just at yes. night just talking okay. yeah, there's a sure. song that works over that that is just it's great sure. it says okay. perfect sure again I don't think it would make top 3 right so that right now the, the thing's long so, enough where we can now cut stuff that I don't think will make top 3 okay. which is like Firewatch as much as I hate it Polybridge probably won't make top Polybridge 3 Polybridge probably won't make it I really love go listen to Polybridge please totally go listen get, to like, Polybridge yeah. it's really great that guy deserves a lot of credit for that for a game that you wouldn't expect to have any attention played yeah, to the soundtrack really at all really good like I want to go listen to it right now it's, it's a really great. good one um Deus Ex it's good but I couldn't tell you a nope. song on it nope it's but it is good it's not, it's not like Human Revolution where I can go fucking Icarus was sick totally like, yeah. it, like that doesn't there's not a uh, there was a moment where I was like fuck this music's good and I can't remember what it was yeah. like, and there's no club scene like there was in the first one. Yeah, there is no hope, um, yeah. Which I, is, I can you're right, that can fling down. Which leaves us with Doom, Fury, I Am Setsna, Virginia, Let's Die, and Sturgeon right, Valley. So let's let's try and see if we can get a top three. Okay. I think we both agree Fury should be there. For sure, yeah. For like, sure. That has to be in the top three. Um I think that You've talked a real big game about I Am Setsna. It's really good and it's it's, it's it's musically ambitious it's, which is what it's said ambitious as well. it sets different tones really well like it goes distinct from like there's frozen highlands where they just set the winter tone so well like we talked about to like mm. there's a song called dancing little lights which is like the character theme for a character called Kier, mm. who all he is he's just like a little kid who has way too much magical power right so the song's really like jumpy and staccato but then gets halfway through and suddenly becomes really really big sure and like it occupies it's that character distilled into a song like I I, and I think it could be there like even as a person that is not particularly interested in the game yeah. and thinks the soundtrack is like it's it's good at what it does yeah like even just for like musical ballsiness yeah it's, su- it's is super impressive kind of it in works there. so well I could totally see that like which leaves the others uh, like Man, that, that Doom, Doom is so soundtrack. Doom is the real kind of epitome of both sides of this argument, right? Yeah. Where like that soundtrack works so well as, it works in that game perfectly. Like if this was use of music, totally Doom wins. It would be right up there. But I will never listen to the Doom no, soundtrack. No, I won't. The problem, the, the problem is that we use that same argument to get rid of Doom on best original song. The only way we can give Doom credit for music is in this. And like you're right, it's really fucking good. You're like right. in game, that thing is fucking phenomenal. And actually, music. like when you talk about use of music as well, they've done a fantastic job of like they they under they understand like uh, understanding like building tension and stuff like that really well. Where it's like the whole time you're not in combat, it's really really light and really really ambient. Yeah. And then when combat's about to start, you can hear it ramp. Yep. And then when combat hits, it's bang, full for, on. For, and it's, for me, it was it was how well it cuts when combat ends yeah and it's just and just that yeah. dun, 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 and, and, and it's back yeah. to the thing like it's it's, it's, it's so good it's at that really good it's really really good at that but so, I know that you're gonna want Virginia so like the thing about Virginia is that like that is that game for yeah. me like it's that it is that soundtrack like, quite how you again with in it. use of music like not much surpasses it really like yeah. it's 
but also I don't know if I like that game enough to yeah. warrant that. Yeah. But like I think I think at this point we can move Stardew and let so, it die. So like Stardew is really Stardew's good. great and like again you want to talk about like accomplishment yeah. like one guy, one guy making that game and writing that music and the fact that the music works like the 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 music works really well in making the seasons distinct totally. like there are three yeah. tracks for each season and each of those works so well in that season yeah. and it makes you it gets you into that mindset and then there's like distinct character themes for each of the characters that all works and like there's mind theme it's a great varied soundtrack sure. but it's I don't think it would hang it's okay. just that's the thing like you're the only person going to fight yeah it's it's so- I, I really like that. it, but okay. I, don't, I don't like it as much as, like, say it's not a Doom sure. okay. or Fury. Uh, Let It Die is... That's really good. It's there, <laughs> like, it's on there because it's it's really funny. I think it's the... the, the, the when we did that video for the site, yeah. I heard the music when we were in the... The waiting room? The waiting room place, yeah. and I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, it's... And it only just gets weirder from there. Yeah. It's, yeah, and it works that, really well with the visual style of what, like, that kind of real grungy punk vibe yeah. that thing has. And, like, when those songs are kicking in and fucking Uncle Death goes by and you skateboard, yeah. and you're like, you're like what? Yeah, it's great. This is the most Suda game ever. Yeah, it's, it's a real Suda yeah. game. So it's really, like, for me, this is between Doom and Virginia. Yeah. yeah. It's both sides of the cut. Like, they're both... You've got, you've got usage. one that... Yeah, they, they both use it so well. Does it have any sway that the Virginia soundtrack was recorded by the Prague Philharmonic Orchestra? No. <laughs> just I'm throwing things out it's impressive I'll give you that like it's 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 got some cred then, to it but then, at the same time and then the other side when watching if we're going to talk about cred watching the guy who wrote the Doom soundtrack getting interviewed and talking about how he wrote that soundtrack mm. is super impressive okay. like did you see how many strings he had in his guitar when he was performing live he's got like more a lot of strings I know like a multiple and he was like strings. it was the fact that he in that whole interview he was talking about how he spent ages like learning about the game and like how like how they wanted to work and he like went and said we need to figure out what Doom sounds like yeah. so he like tried a whole bunch of different instruments and they eventually got to a point where it was just like all drums yeah. and I think that drives really well and it works and then eventually they went let's try and layer guitars and they eventually built it to what it is right now right the works so perfectly it's unbelievable so like what they ended up with wasn't like oh we're doing a game about hell we should probably have really heavy guitars yeah, they, did, they, didn't, they didn't just go let's just make a death metal soundtrack right. they like pulled it back right okay. thought like in steps about how to make this work and it and again you talk about usage like it's perfect man. it's perfect in its usage you're right yeah. you're right um i honestly think it's that top three like I think it's that top three. You're probably right, but Cut Virginia hurts real bad. Like I, it, it, it's yeah, it'll hurt because especially since we don't really have a narrative category this year. Yeah. And um, because there wasn't really enough that warranted it. Yeah. Um, like the things that Virginia was going to stick in. Yeah. Were soundtrack and narrative. Yeah. <sighs> I think that you're right, and yeah. like that. I that, think cutting Doom does it such a massive you're right and but... Virginia did get top three in best original song yeah so okay I could I could see that it's yeah okay like that's okay if we cut Virginia yeah. Fury has to win this yes right okay. <laughs> I that's, agree okay fine like the when you when you talk about like Doom uses its music really well like yeah. incredibly well yeah. I Am Setsna is super ballsy and uses the and music pulls it off, and pulls absolutely. it off so well and it works so perfectly for that yeah. environment that, that thing is in yep. Fury made a fucking incredible album mm. but it also just worked amazingly for that game so I think for me as well it was I would not have given two shits about that game no but like I we didn't play that game before we listened to the soundtrack no we heard the soundtrack first so I so I, I so, there's, so I we we paid attention to that game because of the soundtrack. Well, no, because I, I only know it, I knew the name because it Carpenter Brute announced he was on yeah. the soundtrack, and I was like, oh, there's a game, and it's the designer, the the, the artist from <laughs> Samurai Champloo, yes, who's doing the art design, mm-hmm. and I was like, okay, this is a cool mix of stuff, and then I looked at it and was like, ah, oh, but it's like a third person combat action thing, yeah. and I'm like, yeah, yeah, don't really care, and then forgot about it. And then literally the, the next time I saw it was in when it appeared on PS Plus. I was yeah. like, oh, that's that game. That's that game, yeah. And it's free, right? Okay. Because it, it came on PS Plus the month it got released. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's that game. And it's free. Oh, awesome. I might as well fucking try it, right? Yeah. And like, 
I got the soundtrack and was like, this is a really good soundtrack. And then I was like, I should probably play the game as well. I was like, yeah. this game's really tight. It's, it's, this game's it's, really it's super good. super impressive. Yeah. And like... And the music works so yeah, well. Yeah, and like the music it's, enhances it so much. And like what we were talking about for best uh, original song, like the, the songs that work for the levels are so per like totally th that the enraged on that first level works perfectly because it it like sets the tone for the entire game of like this is what you're going to be doing it's yep. so it's such a focused song that builds so well yeah. but then you get to like things like make it right yeah where it's a shock when that boss is like we don't have to fight yeah exactly so that music completely chills it out and it's yep. it's great but it's then it also has like when you hit the last two stages it does that the remix which is like yeah. it hits again yeah. and you're like okay you mean it now we're, we're ready to go it's... um yeah and there's there's a couple of different like and then the danger stuff is different again yeah where it's got like it's got like orchestral drop uh, mm. hits in it and stings and stuff and it goes in a bunch of different directions yeah. and it's just it's a fantastic it's a fantastic work of yeah it's genius it's it's, it's absolutely it's really great. great and like that was my Nick dancer this year that was the one that I was like f I'll put the Fury soundtrack on because I need something right yeah and that's it like, yeah I did that multiple it's the one where like I would play it completely outside the game and not be yeah. sick of it when it hit in game is the other yeah, thing I, well. the amount of times out like in work or something like that it was it, it was actually a contrast that I'm saying like about this as well in, in work when I like. I had a lot of stuff to do that was just kind of like I just need to get this done. Mm -hmm. I was just like, okay, yep. let's just go fury and just do this. Whereas I'm set stuff was just like, it was the end of the day. Yeah. It'd been a long one. I was like, I just need to. It's a different go field. somewhere else totally. and just it was amazing. But yeah, fury's incredible. Yep. Fury's just incredible. Totally. Um, okay, so best soundtrack is Fury, yep. followed by I Am Set Snap and Doom God. as its yeah. as its thing as its uh, runners up. Yep. I d yeah, you're right. You're right. You're totally right. I get it hurts. You're I right. understand. Yeah, no, you I, know how I feel I am when we didn't let Sailor's Dream win <laughs> that one year. Okay. But that was also like, you only get angry about that a week later. I know. When you got... But I still got angry. You're right. You're right. <laughs> it was my own fault, but that was what hurt the most. Yeah. So it's the big one. Big this one. This is the game of the year 2016. Yeah. So this one's slightly different. We're going to do a top five yep. in order. A ranked order of top five. So the list on here is basically every game we played this year. So yes. I'm just going to run through it. And anything that's on this list... Yes. Anything that's on this list is at least worth having a look at. Yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah, kind of, sure. From one of us. <laughs> yeah, from one point or another. Yeah. yeah. Um, so and this is basically in chronological order from when we played them kind of yeah. like as the years gone on so it's a nice uh, little, it, was like... some, it was some stuff that I forgot about oh, totally. later but yeah so our list is Amplitude Witness XCOM 2 Stardew Valley Firewatch Overwatch was there enough watch games where we could yeah there's Watch Dogs as well best watch best category, watch of yeah. the year we missed out on opportunity yeah Firewatch Overwatch Doom Fury Inside Virginia Overcooked Do Sex Mankind Divided Super Hot Watch Dogs 2 Orwell Tyranny Uncharted 4 <laughs> oh yeah okay yep. I, thought, I thought I was in there twice Stardew no. Valley Oxenfree I Am Setsna Technomancer <laughs> Technomancer Tom Clancy The Division and Hitman yes um, is there anything that we've forgotten I'm, I'm thinking about that right now I may I may just very quickly pull up uh, just going through the other categories just to make yeah, sure yeah to make sure not... there's not something we didn't get no yeah. I think we're okay Titanfall 2 is I, it's not gonna I don't think it would be either top 5 combining us not... like yeah. I don't think so um, okay let me just have a quick I think we're fine <laughs> it's quite weird that I, I played I played playing in last week and it came out the 4th of January last yeah. year uh, this year what like, did you add to that list? did you add anything? I know, yeah, I'm, I'm having a look. Um, yeah, I don't think there's... I don't think there's... I think was there? Okay. There was Tharsis, which... Was, I'm just, I'm just mentioning games that I played that were kind of cool. Um, Tharsis was interesting. Tharsis was interesting, if nothing else. Do you want to add Dragon's Dogma? Not really. Okay. Because <laughs> you mentioned it. Was, it. it was a game that came out in 2015. It's not like... An, a 20, it, it, it only came up because it was an old game that got revitalised. Sure. Um, did you play that Homeworld game? No. No? Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Just check a list. Though. No, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just looking through. I think um, we got it. I think we're okay. XCOM's February, Firewatch, Unravel was kind of cool, yeah. but not as long as the list. Uh, Project X Zone 2. I'm sad I don't have a 3DS to play that. I thought you may be. Yeah. Um, fucking Project Cross Zone was great. Yeah, I remember. 
Wow, Super Hot came out early last year. Yeah, it was pretty early. That. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh yeah, those Heavy Rain remakes. <laughs> Again, you want to talk about remake of the year? There's a lot of them. There's been a lot of them. Um, WRE 2K16. Didn't play it. I'm a wrestling fan. I'm not an idiot. It's... Okay, just joking. Um, I didn't get a chance to play Republic this year. Republic. Republic. Yeah. Sorry, I, that was on my list, but I never got around I to didn't doing play it. it. Um, I think we're all right. I think yeah, we're all right. sure. I'm just very quickly um, see if there's anything else. Fucking also, like what we're talking about, 2016. Yeah. I want somebody to count how many Games Workshop games came out this year. Because it was just like every genre, every fucking like yeah. everything. Um, did you play Salt and Sanctuary? That sounds like a game that you would have. I hate Dark Souls games. I'm not because it's uh, sorry. Yeah. It's, it's a Dark Souls game. You're right. You're right. You're right. Um, Mirror's Edge didn't, didn't sound it. like it was good. Yeah. And um, so we never got into that one. Oh, Mighty Number no. Nine. We never had to touch the list. Can we go back to most disappointing? <laughs> oh yeah, okay. even though we've not played it. Work best biggest news that fucking trailer. That trailer that was garbage. Ooh. Uh yeah. Uh, Monster Hunter, Dark Root Zero. God, only like in that whole all twenty sixteen one episode of uh Kentucky Root Zero came out. Yeah, it's the one. Yeah, there's a game called Bears Can't Drift, which I will need to go Google <laughs> after we're done here. <laughs> that sounds like your kind of game. Totally, because I think they do. Oh, uh, Abduction was the other one yeah. that I am a couple You're of currently years, playing. I'm yeah. a couple of years into and like seems super interesting and like. That is a hell of a mist. Yeah, like, just hell of so a mist know. game. Um, all right, let's let's. Just yeah, do this. I, I think I I'm, think we're all right. I'm in September now. So I got think everything. the easiest way to do this, <laughs> yep. at first, is to try and find stuff that we agree on to go in to or go, to go out. into a list. Because okay. there's a lot of stuff here, so trying to eliminate stuff will take forever. You're right. So You're think right. if we can try and find common ground, then okay. we'll get there in a top five. Sure. So yeah, sorry. The only other thing I can see on that list is Thumper was cool. Thumper was, but yeah. not so, anywhere. Can we agree? Okay. One of the best, the top five games of twenty sixteen was Doom. Probably yes. Okay. Can so, we agree that one of the top five games of twenty sixteen <laughs> was Fury? Yes. Can we agree that one of the top five games of twenty sixteen? Uh, now it gets hard. Day six. Really? Top five? Yeah. Uh, really? I thought we were... That ending was fucking garbage. I hate endings like that. Like, that yeah. really turned me off. Oh, that really? Game, like, super bad. Okay. Like, it's the same thing for Tyranny. Like, it's the same sort of ending, and I fucking hate it. It's right. lazy, and it's, like, you can do it so much better. Okay. Sure, we'll leave that for now, then. Yeah. Um. What else can we actually agree on? How about the Technomancer? No. <laughs> I'm not. Sell me on the Technomancer. So it's this game, right? <laughs> There's not a lot of water everywhere. How much unexpected philosophy is there in that game? Quite a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, there's not a lot of water. And you control lightning. And you, like, hit people with a big stick that has lightning on it. Mm. Yeah. That sounds alright. Yeah. It's probably wind, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, best game is Technomancer, right? Yeah, no. Okay. Um... I'm trying to like see what else is. Can we really only agree on Doom and Fury? No, I'm like, I'm looking through the rest of this list now. Uncharted um, four. So again, we should probably talk for the fact that this is like we're doing we're using individual top fives, yes. which are more of our own tastes. Yeah. This is like as a group. We yeah. Have what do what do we think as a consensus? Yeah, yeah. Like you're gonna get differences between our top yeah. fives, but this is like as a group, and because of that, I could probably see the division in there. Like we had a lot of. I really, yeah, really enjoyed I playing that. Division. Um, so I'm gonna move that up there for now. Yeah, it seems. Yeah, it seems weird that that's not one in any other category. But yeah, I understand. But it, like, why there's it's been there. a bunch of that. Like Overwatch. Overwatch is not on this list. Yes. Yeah, is. is it? Yeah. Oh yeah, it was. Yes. Sorry. Um. I had a bunch of fun with Overwatch. Yeah, that's the. So do we want to move Overwatch? Overwatch for is now? on my top five. So. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. we should probably. So you have a top five? Mostly. Okay. I know the games that are on it, I just don't know the order. Okay, so that might... Okay, let's let's see if there's anything else in there that's... that's, that's... You, cur you currently have three of my top five on that list. Okay. Um, I think... I think Inside should be on the list. Mm. Um... And... I would, be, I would be willing to have a discussion about Inside okay. so you can move it up. I'm going to create another line in this list. <laughs> that is like potential. Which, like, which is like 
Definitely not. Definitely not. Um, okay, so we can move. So we move stuff underneath that. Um, I've said Oxen Free is a really cool thing. It's yeah. not going to be top five yeah. at all. Um, I think that as much as I love Stardew Valley, getting it on a top five is going to be a hard fight. I just have zero interest yeah. in that game. Like, I fully respect it as an achievement and what it's was a the really was. hard fight for yeah for uh, for us to agree on yeah is difficult i am sense is not good enough for a top five you don't think like no no no, no. like the the soundtrack's incredible but as a game and the mechanics in that game are really cool and a good evolution of an old thing okay the rest of that game is very like it's a jrpg it's a jrpg okay yeah. like I, I have to defer to you on that one yeah it's yeah it's not gonna be i'm not gonna five. like that game so uh, it's kind of into you can you. have the technomancer <laughs> yeah technomancer was a funny joke like I, I'm genuinely interested. Like, God, that now, game. Now that, now that Christmas and the the kind of uh, the winter bird, stuff yeah. over, is over, I'm actually going to go back to Text Monster it's, and and see. It's weird. It's yeah. so weird. Um, Orwell, we've talked a lot about on here. There's a lot of really great moments and it's a really unique game. It's probably not a top five. Yeah. I didn't play Overcooked, so I can't. Overcooked is we is good, but like. With the biggest caveat that you need to have at least three to four yeah. people to play that. Yeah. Like, it is... It's so simple and is easy for people to get. Yeah. And it was this year's... Um, what was the one we, we used to play last year? Um, Nidhogg. Nidhogg. Yes, it's this year's Nidhogg where, like, I've never heard people who are my superiors in work... Yeah. Or no, people who are, people who are like... In terms of like, like we don't give a, we don't particularly give a fuck about rank. Yeah. But like, junior developers screaming the worst obscenities at upper management done in a game. Yeah. Ever. That's pretty. Awesome. And like, in stuff that sounds like it should be innuendos, like if you throw me one more fucking carrot, I am going to go across this thing. I mean, it's it's a really cool idea for a game, and it's really funny. And, it, and I think it's a step above. Like, it, it kind of it's unfortunate yeah. it's at the tail end of that couch co-op. Boom, that Boom. happened, yeah. But it's a really, really good one. Yeah, 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 sure. And actually, the Christmas DLC is pretty good yeah. as well, and it's free. Uh, Amplitude not... can... No, oh, Amplitude totally can go. Um, I'm just... I'm just I'm, I like that that game exists. That soundtrack's not good. Uh, Super Hot can probably go down. I don't... I, I really like Super Hot. I don't think it's a top five game. Yeah, and... If, I think it's like... And if VR... Six or seven. If VR comes to me this year, like, we... 20, like... Super Hot VR looks exactly oh, yeah, like yeah, my yeah. jam. Like totally. Like, so we might come back to that. Yes. Um, Super Hot should probably go down. Uh, I don't think. I don't think Watch Dogs Two is a top five game. Really? Yeah. I like a big part of that. At, for the, me... sa at the same time, where there's a lot of cool things about that game, where they they took a game that was really dull and lifeless they could, and they, gave they, it they so much character. They could have fucked up yeah. so badly. And like again for me, like I, I, I think the reason why it was it was it was high for me was because I, again, thought I was completely done with those games. Yeah, sure. Like, I'm just like I checked out because I played a bunch of um, AC Syndicate this year yeah. as well because I haven't having not played one of those games in a mm -hmm. while and I kind of got into that and I was like okay and I never finished it but I got like three quarters of the way through it I was like yeah. cool I've had my Assassin's Creed fix for this year since it's not coming out. Yeah. And then Watch Dogs came out and it's like, oh fuck, but it is one of those games. Yeah. But also, like, the stuff I've heard is real good. So that's that's kind of my point, is that, yeah, they did they, a lot of good things for character and, like, the style of the UI and stuff yeah. like that. But, like, it is it is another one of those games. Like, the hacking stuff doesn't add that much. There's, a, there's cool environmental stuff and, like, cool funny things you can do in the world, mm. but it's still I th just... I think, like honestly like this is gonna sound really dumb yeah but the the drone in the rc car yeah totally changed that game for me like oh, I, yeah, they, that's they're... how i played that game yeah they're really unique tools. It's... and like that soundtrack and the world and the fact that they nail like the stuff they're going for yeah and how even as the year went on obviously at least a year after they wrote all that shit yeah it's still super relevant sure, and got yeah. more relevant as the year went okay. on and um all right okay i can, I can I, i'm not i'm not ready to let that go yet i can i can i can give up tyranny like really like i it's like it's, it's a whole me thing but, but it's not but i can respect 
like as a person who has zero interest in those games, yeah. I respect, I highly respect a game that's gone. We're not doing a traditional. Yeah, it's gone. Like as you explained else. that story to me, there was a moment where I was like, I should probably fucking play this. Yeah, it's really like, cool it's, and unique. It's, yeah. a, I, I, it's, it's for sure on my top five, but like for a for a site list for a site list where it's unified, where you have zero interest in playing it, yeah. it doesn't make sense. Let's leave it for now. Okay. Because I think Uncharted Four can go. Really? I. It's not on my top five, but it's still like. It's not on mine either because, like, again, like, like we said before, like, unparalleled thing visually. Yeah. And like the performances and. And they did a lot for those characters. They made those like, characters like again. They they learned a lot from. And it's cool story beats and stuff. Like they they learned a lot from Last of Us where they they they, they darkened those characters a little bit. Yeah. Like they, they kind of it wasn't as like kind of primary color Indiana Jones as the previous ones. Yeah. Like those characters get fucked up in that game and like yeah the scene like deceit and lie and totally like that, the, yeah. the scene where um, Elena flies to Madagascar yeah. and is like the fuck are you doing yeah. like and just it's, the disgust it's really good but it is it's an uncharted game like yeah, cannot sure. get away from that's, that fact that it's that's an uncharted totally game yeah. I'm going to move it down for now. It might come back. I'm putting it at the top of the no yeah, list. Yeah, okay. Um, XCOM has to yeah, go, that can I think. go, yeah. That's... Like, again, like, it's a fantastic game. Yeah, it's a really good game, but I don't think it's top but five. But I'm, I'm not happy enough with it. Yeah. But it's definitely not my top five. Right. Out of the stuff that's left, what else is in your top five for now? Or you're almost top five? What do you mean? So the stuff in the middle that's left there, like, what's oh, in your like top what five? The, what, like, so that you've got, in the top, you've got three out of my top five. Right, so what are the other two? Stardew and Tyranny. Okay. But, S- like, Star- Stardew's already, I don't know why Stardew's in twice, because we already moved that down. Oh, is it Stardew in twice? Yeah. I thought it was, I thought I read it twice. Okay, um, I'm delete Stardew. But yeah, so, right, let's have a hard conversation. Okay. We can't put Virginia at top five. No. You can. It's, it's it's very much a me, and it's I. It's got enough of its due I, elsewhere. I, I actively think you actively dislike that game. I, I, I understand. No, 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 I don't even. I don't even dislike that game. I thought what that game did was really, really interesting. I just can't call it a video game. Totally. And good, and, a good mindset. I can't call it. A and game. it's, it's it, it, again. It's real disappointing that it didn't make. It was a really strong year for small games as well. Oh yeah, yeah, totally. And like, it was like I expected it to get up there, but the more I thought about it, I was like, I can't. Yeah, make it. Like, it's, you should you should definitely experience Virginia. Totally, it's totally such and try a it. unique thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's not gonna it's not gonna be on there. Um, what else we got? The Witness. How do you feel about the Witness? Man, there's so much like about that game. Yeah. Like, I have never felt smarter playing a game. It's just like that last section just drop kicked me so hard, and yeah. I just I was so done with it by I the know end. How I feel? Yeah, like I. Welcome to the bravely default territory. I know, like this is it sucks like. Every every new area of that game was a new discovery and a new learn. Like fucking, where's my phone? Like I'm like <laughs> is it just like I need I need to prove like how much notes even to people like do you have like a specific totally yeah like I if I show you my I, is, I I will I will be your audience no, sorry you, are you gonna the camera right Christ like so I from, see that. from here on uh, yeah from here on in so like this is like. Oh fuck! Like this is what I was dealing with, right. right? So I don't know how well it's going to show off on camera. Like this is what my no, it's not going to show off. It's not going to show off at but all. But there's like hundreds of like. Screenshots. I believe, believe me, there are so many screenshots with things drawn and on. And there's them, one but... here which is like this is this is like oh no, not that one. But there's one that's like here's the here's the code bible like in yeah. text for what all it's, the symbols mean. Yeah. And it was a game that me and my wife were sitting and we would both like sit and figure, we would out. Sit and figure all this oh, yeah. out like yes. there's so much in there i just like it it just how doesn't... how much does it tarnish you enough to not put it in the top five i don't know because like like i'm not gonna put it th- like that i do not want to play that game totally. like uh, it's not, i it's... i watched the video essay that broke that game down into why what it is what it is mm-hmm. and it's fascinating sure i don't want to play it it's... sure and i think there's the, like it the thing that's throwing me is like i was so pissed at the end of that game that the amount of leftover threads that were there like the ba- the videos of the basement yeah, yeah. and all that kind of stuff fuck all of that i didn't care yeah i was just I, like for something that required so much investment yeah from you as a player yeah like beyond it probably any other game this year like maybe Fury is the only thing that came closer for me. Yeah, was like something that you have to like 
this is going to take up this part of your brain for months. Yeah. And it did. Like, I dreamt grids for a while. It was terrifying. Yeah. Um, for it to have that much investment and for the ending, without really any reason that I can see, yeah. and without, a, like, a narrative hook for being like, this is why we're doing it. Yeah. Like, if they had come to me, if, if they had, if I'd got to that point where it was like, here's what the island is and here's why we need to shut all this shit down. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. And right. I can see that. Like, that's a payoff. And, like, and there's some reason why, like, now you're back at the start and you have to do it all again. Like, they needed to narratively... Yeah. And I get that, like, there's a part of that which is, like, you're not doing this for any real reason. Yeah. Like, you've done all this because you've wanted to do all this and then, like, I don't know, we're going to, like, you've reached the end, yeah. so do it again? Yeah, sure. Like, I get what they're going for, but fuck you. Yeah. Like, I needed something to you pay, to pay off, off in that game. Within, yeah. With enough, with a game that had enough built-in mystery to it, Yeah. I needed, I needed a little bit of a bread come to go, okay, here's the bit of the story you need to go and, like, finish doing all the environmental puzzles, find yeah. the rest of those videos, like, there needed to be something. Yep. I'm not ready to kill it yet, but it sounds fuck like that you game. Want to kill it. It's... But also, there's so much. No, I, I get why it's good, but let's talk about something else. Okay. Right? Um, Firewatch. Firewatch is real good. Yep. And it's really cool and really interesting, and it... tells a really cool story. Yes, and I think the fact that it's top three in smaller games is enough for I me. Think, yeah, I'm I'm okay with that. That turtle's real good though. That's a cool turtle. It's a real cool turtle. Yeah. Best turtle of the year. Oh I yeah, think. Firewatch. Instant if I turtle. expand that, best turtle in video games. Reptile of the year, turtle reptiles. Oh no. Okay. You and, can move it. It's yeah, sure. Um, but yeah, I, I, Hitman. This wasn't on my list till two weeks ago. <laughs> like until I start, because I get that game for Christmas. Yeah. And I had watched a lot of people play that game. Yeah, and I knew it was fun. Yeah. And then I started playing that game, and it was still fun. Yeah. And then I was like, because. The thing I didn't expect was, like, I'd seen, like, here's what the elusive targets are and here's what the escalations are. Yeah. And I knew them, like, from a theoretical perspective, I knew what they are. But once you start getting into it and you realise, like, oh, shit, like, okay. Like, it's, it, there, there's nothing quite like, and I, I have been, from afar, interested in Hitman games for the whole time yeah, they've yeah. existed. And I've tried to play a bunch of them, but they're so punishing. Yeah. That like they are merciless, especially with like blood money, where you're like you play out normal and you get two saves per level. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, and you're like, like I can't. It felt like the game was fighting what I wanted to do with that game, which yeah. was like, let's just fucking play with this world until let's I find the way that's going to do it. Yeah. Be there, like this one actually yeah, finally nailed that, and it was yeah. like, no, we know why you're here. Like, mm -hmm. go have your thing, and like, in case you get lost or like you can't find the thing, here's a bunch of like starting like. We're gonna like, hey, slip. This this we're gonna slip this yeah. note into the door, going. Maybe you should go talk to the gardener, and yeah. then it all kicks yeah. off, and it's always satisfying. Sure. And then there's the mastery stuff. Those levels are so intricate. Yeah. There's. But then there are some levels that are like way worse than I, others. Kind of like they're each. Sure. They're still good. I get. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, like obviously like Sapienza and stuff like that is so. So many different parts of that level, yeah. but there's like there's the main town. But there's also the mansion and the the beach area. Yeah. And then there's the fucking underground lab yeah. and how you get between all those things. And there was a great moment where I started doing um I started doing escalations in Sapienza and one of them asked for something specific. I was like, Oh I know where that is yeah. and like went there. Yeah. And I was like, Oh shit, but I can't get through that door for this particular escalation. But if I go around here and cross this thing, like yeah. like you start learning those maps. Yeah, how they all fit together. Yeah. And in terms of just like the, the the story is just training yeah like, the core of that game is like okay now go do it for real yeah now go do challenges and go and do stuff. the challenges yeah. and figure all this stuff out like it's real good right we have to start cutting stuff I know I know I know we have to start moving stuff up to be okay. fair why don't you think Deus Ex should be there because it it's interesting it just didn't like grab me all that much really like it was a cool interesting story but like it oh but like like i like stories kind of i don't care yeah it's 
it was the world and the side stuff for me was just like yeah that and that that stuff is really good but like for a for like a top five game of the year stuff it, you kind of have it, to look at it as a whole and totally and i also felt like there was always the opportunity for me to be like like you would look at a situation it was kind of the opposite of what i got from um stuff like maybe not this year but I've, I've done it in games games like this before where like you look at a situation and you're like I d like I could totally do this this way but there's gotta be another way of doing yeah, this and yeah. there always is yeah that's and it, it, some of it is like oh fuck I don't have that skill but half the time it's like oh there's the fucking yeah. air vent um, but... also like as a side thing there's a really cool article from a architect on how fucked up the air vents are in DSX <laughs> about how none of this makes any like, sense like why are they there yeah, yeah like why has this guy got a huge air vent directly behind his desk yeah like but like I think that I also I really really hated that ending sure like really hated sure. it and it's and, and, and like if if DSX ends up getting knocked down Tyranny also has to get knocked down because, because of that same that reasons. same ending like it's, but like every, it, it, endings like that are so bad and lazy and especially in a game where it, games where your choices are so important and so they feel like they have such weight sure just having a face on a screen telling you and then this happened and then this happened so it's yeah really 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 and actually, lazy the deus ex one was did seem particularly lazy because it wasn't even cut together very well no it's just it, shot it, on a screen it would like shot on the screen like as the camera would kind of slowly pan on the tv and then it would just go boom yeah. and then like as if next it's thing, like as if, thing, it, as if it's thing. like working out like okay we need to play this one and this one and this yeah. one and playing through like, exactly like that like I, I came out of that game going like, man, that was really fun, and then that ending happened. And I was like, fuck this! Like yeah. it's, I like. And you would think they would have learned from the last one, which was literally which one of these four buttons button. do you want yeah. to push? Which yes. it's a better ending than that, but it's still not well done. Like you can yeah. do it better. Like was... even if they, if they just cut it after Jensen finishes talking to whatever her name is. I yeah, totally. Remember. Yeah, it, it would have been fine. There. Like it would have been great because you still would have seen. How or it even works, if but... that even if that had been playing during the credits yeah that would have been that would have been fine, fine i guess yeah but it's literally the fact that like that is the they final... spend minutes just yeah and there's nothing else going on yeah it's just like you're gonna watch yeah watch this, this learn what you did like totally. that's not that shouldn't happen and also i was slightly disappointed as well that they got away from like i didn't want there to be like i'm starting to get really pissed with games like that where it's like oh all of your choices matter with the last thing being a, a, boss, a boss fight, fight yeah and I was like, yes, there is multiple ways of doing that. Yeah. And I was, still... I was kind of impressed with the way I did it yeah. and all this kind of stuff. But still, like, fucking, like, I've pumped so many bullets into this yeah, dude. Like, this needs to stop. Yeah, I that that's why I don't think I can... I don't think I can hang. Because the, the other thing... Look at the, the other games that are on that list at, right now are... But, like... Damn, damn but like, good. But, like, like, I look at that list and I would, like... I would probably take that over Overwatch... I wouldn't honestly like, like I yeah the, the 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 Deus Ex thing like it it it's, it's it's a cool game but like there it's not it doesn't do enough it doesn't do that much different from the first one like sure. there's 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 some new mod stuff and like the the style the, the style in that game is incredible as it, but it's got its due for style yeah, but it like, did win that, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And like, okay, like if it wins best visuals and it's probably in my top five, yeah, I'm probably okay moving it for now. If you if you move the site, you can move Tyranny as well. Okay, it's the same because, argument. Well, because I was going to ask about Tyranny because because Tyranny was. Ty but you said Tyranny didn't do that. Tyranny, it... but it did, but not in the way that you thought it would. Because like everything up to the moment where you're like, okay we need to take this guy out yeah the like and then this happened and this happened yeah like it didn't do the thing like it didn't do the the ending bit of like and you took him down and did this thing like it was like it feels like in that no, game it, it, it wraps up all the loose ends it cut, it cut on a cliffhanger but then just basically showed the consequences of your choices in static frame like my the entire reason i think endings like that are shit is because games like that put so much weight on your choices and then when it gets to the end where they explain how your choices matter, they treat it with such flippancy that but it's like... But, like, did you not get the output of your choices, like, at the time? Mm, 
Not really. Okay. Like you kind of you kind of get it. Like you see them react to it. Right. But like the long term effects, like you can do that better. You can show that better. And okay. They don't. They just go. This happened. You okay. Go, uh, okay. I'm gonna like I I I, I have no like stand on attorney. It just sounded super interesting. Is, is it, 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 if you have interest in those kind of games, you should play Tyranny because it's really really different. So like one of the best ones cool. of those types. Yes. And I'm interested in seeing how you explain it for your top five as well. Yeah, like, it's de- it's definitely it's definitely a is. Definitely a top five game. Okay, for so me, the last for the site, don't think so. The last, so we have to pick one of these. Yeah. Okay, let's look at our top four for yes. a second. So it's Doom, Fury, Division, and Overwatch. Yeah. We- I if you don't like Overwatch all that much, you can move it down. But I'm trying to. Say I what- really like Overwatch. But I play more I really than you. Like, I really like Overwatch as well. Yeah. Like it got me into multiplayer shooters in a way that I haven't done at all yeah. in a long time. And like I tried Team Fortress and I was like, oh you guys are just mental. Yeah. Like I can't compete. Yeah. Like I've always felt competitive in Overwatch. Yeah. You you always feel like you're doing something regardless totally. of what you're And it's yeah. such a smart design to not like such a simple thing to not have a scoreboard. Yeah, like that's a, a genius cons- move. Constantly running scoreboard so you can't look at it because every single time, like even like the 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 the, the multiplayer shooter I've played the most before Overwatch was Destiny. Yeah, and like the PvP stuff in that. You have like, a KDA. Every time they die, yeah. there's a literally a thing in the bottom right which is your score. Yeah, even compared to your own team. Yeah, and every single time you're like, well, I'm just not fucking doing it. I'm just yeah, playing this you're not down, away. right? Whereas at the end of an Overwatch game, you're like, hey, I got gold for killing or totally. whatever. Like, you're like, you always get one so, thing and like yeah. this, the, the, like the anonymous voting. Yeah, the cards at the end. Yeah, like, yeah. I kind of want to keep it there, like... It did a lot of really smart things. Because, like, 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 it refined yeah. that thing so yeah. well that... Yeah, okay, yeah, it, it has to be there. Okay. It has to be there. So, I think if we're moving something It is up, weird. Yeah. The two things that I would care about are Inside and Hitman. Yeah. I'm going to... And... I want to move... I'm going to move Inside up and I'm going to move Hitman up for okay. a minute. Just so we can have this last fight. Because it's not even a fight, really. It's not a like, fight. It's just, this for is... me, like, it is weird to be considering The Witness, considering it's always one of the most disappointing games of the year. Yeah, like, that's kind of my weird, point as well. Yeah. But, like... <sighs> and the fact that I haven't played it, and I don't want to play it. Totally. I like, actively don't want to play that game. But, yeah. but that's a personal thing, but it's... Yeah. And Watch Dogs 2, while I enjoyed Watch Dogs 2, and I thought it was... You're right. I think I think Watch Dogs Two generic, <laughs> totally. But like, it was. I think a lot of the stuff of Watch Dogs Two was like it was so much better than I expected. It to oh be. yeah, totally. Yeah. Like even ignoring the first Watch Dogs game, which I kind of liked in parts. Yeah. Like it just did. It blew that thing. It injected so much life and life world. and personality yeah. into a game. Like, have you finished that game? No. How far? Like Twenty hours or something. I can. Remember. What was the last story thing you did? <laughs> Okay, fair enough. It's... Have you done um, Fake Coachella? No, I don't know what that is. Where they all dress up and they go to... Oh, sorry, not uh, Coachella. Um, Burning Man. No, I've not seen that. Have you that. not done that no. yet? Where they... So... I, I, I've not played that game in quite some time. Okay, so. fair enough. But like stuff like that, which is like... We've done all of this shit for a 20-minute sequence. Yeah. Purely for narrative reasons as well. Like There's a point where they all fucking go, right, we're done. Like, yep. We can't do this anymore. Yeah. Um, and that's your like let's go save the rec center moment where you're like oh you're you d- freeze frame high five kind yeah. of but you're like okay guys let's take a break and let's go to fucking yeah. burning man and and, and yeah, pull sure. us all back together you're right it probably playing doesn't... that game is really generic so that's totally. the point. like the hacking stuff is interesting but it just doesn't do that much differently okay so i'm gonna okay i'm gonna move this up for a second okay and then which leaves us with our, some of our top five our, our top five is in here somewhere yeah which is Doom Fury Division Overwatch Inside Hitman and The Witness yeah The Witness shouldn't be on that I know it but I can't let there. it go because it does so much right no I know but that's what your personal list is for but I don't even like it burned me so hard that putting it on my personal list is weird as well 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 then you're that, right. that's no, you're a kind right. of signifier you're right. That, yeah. you're right you're right you're totally right it shouldn't be there yeah so we need to take one more thing off this list. Yeah. It's a fight it's a fight between Inside and Hitman. Totally. Which is bizarre. Yeah. Because those games are so different. Could not be more different. It's oh. Do you have a pre- I mean do you have a preference? Not really. They're both really good. The only thing I can say is that I haven't actually played Hitman yet. 
Sure. I have watched a lot of Hitman, and I understand what it does. And I, I can tell you as a man who watched a lot of Hitman as well, like, it totally holds up yeah. when you play it. Like, I understand why that game is cool and what it did. Like, I'm trying to think of negative sides of Hitman, which is like... <laughs> Pause. <laughs> like, the, the, like, the, like, technically it has a couple of issues, like, it's crashed on me a couple of times. Sure. Performance on console is a little bit... It's 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 hundred percent playable. It's just annoying. Yeah, the um, also the the point of uh, it's a weird point to have, but I think it's a point worth saying is that Hitman gave you more over like a longer period of time. Mm. Like the support for that game has been incredible. Totally, and the the idea to make that thing episodic, but in the right way, which is like every month they're just like. You go, here's a new map, it, it, and it gives you time to, it like, works, explore it. It works and... so well with the model that they built for that game, where, like, we're going to construct this really intricate level. Yeah. Give you a narrative reason to go through it once. Yes. But it is so easy for us to create new stuff around there, because mm-hmm. we've got so many bits we can yeah, work you with. Yeah, just chop and change And, like, stuff and... like, like, when Sapienza came out, and it was this huge map, which yeah. you see, like, like, there's, there's zero reason for you to go to the beach yeah. First time through. If you play in a specific way, yep. you don't need to go to the beach. There are back alleys through the town as well, mm-hmm. which be no reason to go in. And then they did. Then they put out the icon as like their summer. Was there summer or, or summer Halloween special thing with the? It was with, a summer thing. Yeah. With the the action movie getting filmed, yes. that map is unrecognizable. <laughs> like they have so much extra stuff in there. Yeah. It is insane. It's a very impressive thing. The one they've done. And like the way they there's so much to it, and yeah. the fact that that the fact that they're calling this season one like there's going to be more of it. Oh, totally. Is like they hit so many things right. Yeah. And I, like part of me honestly is disappointed that I didn't do it at the time. At the time, yeah. Because it would have been so good to be like, fuck, there's a new map. Yeah, every Let's month. Get in there. Just get and in like there. I, I, I got one elusive target. I've yeah. been able to do one elusive target yeah. because it's the only one. I film the food critic's the only one that's yeah. been there while I've had the game. And yeah, it, it's it's spectacular. It yeah. really is. I just like fucking double handing those things. It's just yeah, chuck so it, chucking a fire axe at someone. Like you... throwing something. Like oh, okay, we could talk for ages with our like our in depth like critical eye hats on, and it just comes down to man, you can huck that fire axe on which are really well. <laughs> yeah. Like that fire axe going into somebody's <laughs> head is <laughs> always fun. Oh man, right. Man, in, inside one best little game, or best, what is it called? Best small, smaller, smaller game, game. Yeah, like inside. It did. And it by also, by also, very good. Yeah. Hitman, I think. Hitman probably deserves it more. Yeah, I think, I think. Hitman does more but like, and has yeah, more to it. You're right, you're, pr- you're probably right. Like inside got its and due. It's, yeah, and it's also like, Hitman, there are like, there are serious aspects to Hitman where, like, there's this backstory of, like, betrayal and all this stuff. Like, but then also you just get ridiculous shit that you can do, like, throw spaghetti cans at people. Totally. And stuff. It has this complete duality that still works perfectly together. Totally. That it's just... I really like that top five, totally. to be honest. Yeah, okay. I think that's, I think so let's move that down. So, not in order, not in but order. our top five is Doom, Fury, The Division, Overwatch, and Hitman. Yeah. I that. think that describes us pretty well. Yes, I'm. As yep, we've got like, and it's like this is the, this is the reason why I was really pushing for the smaller game this year because the smaller game of the year category is because like a lot of the best games this year were super high budget stuff. Yeah, like like Doom, like Division, Doom, yeah. and Overwatch. Obviously, Hitman not as much, but like yeah. But like, I feel okay the fact that we've recognised we've recognised the other things, stuff yeah. there. Yeah, it's and again, it'll also get it'll more than likely probably get recognised on your personal list as well. Totally, like, yeah, like insides up there. Yeah. Okay, how the fuck do we order these? Right. <laughs> so I think that based on reaction, mm. so I think Overwatch is probably bottom half. Yeah. Like I think that. The division splits the line pretty well. Totally, yeah. Like those top three are probably some of the. They're probably the where they're gonna set moving. Yeah, around. I don't. I don't. I'm not. I'm not tied enough to Overwatch for it to get any higher than four. Probably. I, I like. I'm. I'm okay with it at like five. Okay. Like, I think. I think. It feels weird to have a game in my top five that I've played for two weeks or like three weeks. I you can put that at five, but like it. 
you've played it for two weeks but we've like experienced it for longer like we can't it's given you a lot of yeah. like it's just just because like, like as we a, have we have physically played it so we're allowed to put it on the list but we've we've seen that game like, like a it's, lot it's, it's like i don't watch a lot of game streams yeah but i consumed every bit of hitman i could find yeah exactly it's, and because like it's it's a game that you can do so many like so much shit can go wrong that everyone's played through it, it like it's a real cliche it's thing unique, that everyone's yeah. is going to be different yeah. right like the if, if none of us have played it, we couldn't put it on the no, list. Totally. The fact that someone has played it means that we can do this. It's, it's why I was really pushing to get it for the end of the year. Yeah. Like, I need to, I need to actually to see it. get it's, my hand on it. And the fact that. that you played through all of it in two weeks is pretty telling. Totally. Like it's, I, I couldn't stop. Like It yeah, was like, okay, I've done this. Like, like What's the next bit? Um, and I'm still like... Like, as a, like I got that... That was on sale over Christmas for 25 quid, the complete first yeah. season. 20 on PC. And it's so much content. Yeah. There's like hours that was the, like, stuff on you, there you gave me a gift of 20 pounds on steam yeah for christmas i instantly just went and bought hitman because i'm like i know There's this so is gonna work it. and like the escalations pay off as well yeah like they, they do enough they know exactly it, what game they're making it, it sounds like you want to put hitman over overwatch i do i yeah. do that, I, i'm perfectly fine okay. with that like overwatch was a game that i had spent a lot of time playing with like various different groups of friends yeah and it's really really fun and really really well designed yeah and but yeah i'm okay, I'm okay with it now. okay let's start this top two yeah <laughs> how are we feeling about this <laughs> doom's fucking great doom, doom's really good doom might be the best game of 2016 like that game to come from it's a new, below it's a, zero. It's a new Doom game. Yeah. Like, they but it took came Doom. From, it came from, like, when you played that beta, there was the multiplayer, you came out of that going, that thing's garbage. It was, eh, And was, then they didn't release it for reviewers, so everybody was like, this thing's not gonna go anywhere. Yeah. And then people played it, and all you heard was, dude, you need to play Doom. Yeah. Like, and like not, and not anything other than that, not explaining why, just... You need to play totally. Doom. Like I, that's exactly like when I uh, was in work and my friend who plays games was there, turned to me and went, "Have you played that new Doom game?" And I was like, "Yeah, I beat it." And I was like, "What do you think?" And I was like, "Dude, you, pl- you need to play Doom." Yeah. And he played it over a weekend. I was the talking, whole thing. I was talking is, to a guy in work and he was like, "I'm looking for a new game and you know this shit. Like, what should I be playing?" And like the first thing I said was, "Have you played that new Doom yet?" Play Doom. You should play. Have you, have you pl- like? Have you? Did you play like the original? Do you play a lot of shooters? Yeah. He's like, yeah, I play it. Play a bit. I was like, you should probably go you play, should play Doom. And I think the thing that we haven't actually talked about in this whole thing that deserves a lot of recognition is like mechanically that game is sublime. So it's like, so clever. Not even just like the way like the, the feeling the shooting and stuff like that. Like, yeah, which does feel amazing. Totally. Yeah. Like, in order for you to be as continually moving as you were in those games. Yes. Yeah. The main way of you get ammo is melee kills. Yes. And, and then, health for... Sorry, health for melee kills. kills. Yeah. And then the chainsaw for, for ammo. ammo. Like, that yeah. forces you to be like... Moving. You need to get to these people. And it turns... This is this is the joke I had for, like, any combat in Doom. Kind of comes back here. Because it means that every single combat encounter becomes just, like, this little... Really frenetic, fast puzzle. Yeah. Of, like, I know I need to kill these things... This needs to get killed first, but I need to do it in this specific order. Yeah. Shit, I've run out of this ammo. Yeah. Not glory kill, more ammo, keep running. And it's, yeah. it, 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 the, and it was a thing that when they, when they released the Doom footage and people saw the glory kills, they were like, that's going to slow this game down. Like, it's no. not, but then they saw they, what it did for the game and you're like, that's but, genius. And they give you it's, a chance, they give you a chance to breathe. Yeah. Like, it's like you coming up for, you get that, for a second. Yeah, you get that like, two seconds of just like, okay, And there's, a, there's <laughs> a couple of moments as well, like, especially later on in the game where, like, and weirdly enough for Doom game, like, ammo became kind of scarce yeah. towards it. Like, you needed to keep switching weapons. You needed to keep running. And, and there's a yeah. couple of moments where, like, I had real Hail Mary things where I was like, I have no ammo. All yeah. I have is this fully loaded chainsaw. Like, I need to hit this, yeah. like, Hell Knight. Thing. No. I need to get this Hell Knight and just run at him. Yeah. And, like, he's, he's far enough away yeah. Where I'm like, I just need to run directly on the stick of the chainsaw. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a genius bit of game design. It was right. so clever. Yeah. And like, but ev- everything just builds on top of it where like, the the soundtrack works so well, which we gave it credit for. And like, the whole, the whole fact that they gave the Doom guy 
such a huge character without him saying anything and not caring about just, any of that, the story the, a whole bit of the, the whole bit of that character is his, him going oh, fuck this it's yeah. just like but you saw it like we were talking about it in the elevator where he's just like playing with his gloves while he's talking he's just like, like come on let's just do this but then gets to like the origin energy where he just cracks it in his fist and like the capacitors where all he does where the guy's like you need to take this out carefully and just fucking kicks it yeah. and the, the guy's just like yeah sure that's that's fine fine okay whatever and it's just like and you get to hell and you get all the codex entries where he's treated like some mythical like totally, the the Doom Marine who came from earth to go to hell and fought us all back and it's just this crazy idea of it so then you talk about mechanics and stuff like Fury is a game that I should not have liked yeah like Fury is a game that I like no part of that like it's a it's a it's a top down third person combat game with bullet hell mechanics yeah like no part of that is interesting to me yep and then I was like th- they slipped it in the only reason I touched that game was because it was free yeah and then I played it I was like there's something to this yeah. and like like the parry system oh it's perfect like it feels so good it's and the best the, it's the best parry system and they, I've ever used and they reward <laughs> they reward you both visually and audibly yeah. with that parry stuff and gameplay and gameplay they as well back like literally it. they give you health yeah. back and like the, it's like you try I've tried this, like this to multiple people and it's like the fact that they give you three goes per stage yeah. completely changes that game for me because like it gives you three chances to learn yeah it gives you more and every like every time you got to a new character every time you got to a new stage and you're like I have zero idea what to expect from this yeah and like you would get enough out of it where you would get halfway through and be like I know bits and pieces of the yeah. like okay I'm learning every time as opposed to something like like other roguelikes like like a, like a Dark Souls or anything yeah. that kind of stuff where like you're gonna get to the stage you're gonna get to a boss not know what to expect and immediately get stomped yeah. and like well I've like I've, I've spent all this time getting here I've learned nothing yeah. like at least that point you're like okay he does that yeah. okay right well, I see how I've got another this. chance yeah. and again like the fact that you can be like the fact that the multiple times where you're like I, I haven't learned enough here I just need to survive and parry a bit to get enough health back to yeah. then go like it's absolutely beautifully done yeah it's a a smart it, they understand exactly what it is they need to do where they like they, you can you can go as simple as just like hitting them with a sword and shooting them with a gun yeah but then you get to like the right time to do a charge shot the right time to charge your sword to get the stagger hit. And you, and you learn that yourself. And that's all, yeah, that's all stuff that you can pick up on your own. Mm. But then they also do the amazing job of just teaching you everything about that game just as you're, like, teaching the player through play instead of just going, this button does this, this button does this. Totally. They're like, like, they do that at the start just to tell you what the basic controls are, but then they do things like in that first fight, he shoots the purple, yep. the purple shot at you and you learn that it tracks. Yes. You're like, okay that's in your and that's like, in your memory now i know keep that we keep that visual language the whole way it's, yeah through. consistent throughout the whole game it's like you know purple shots are going to track you yeah. you know that when the guy jumps up in the air and slams the ground there's going to be this big circular thing that you have to dash totally. through it's that sort of idea here's the the, the segmented attacks when you're yeah. close up and, and all this you know, you know where to avoid means. and all that sort of, you do the like the different types of shot where it's like the small blue shots you can shoot out the air the bigger shots you can't shoot out the air like the ones that are yellow have health in them if you shoot the them. green ones have health green in them ones, sorry them. um it's just it's so it well a, put together it is a masterpiece From, of design and, and as those guys like first game as well oh it's not cut apart I think yeah I think so I've not heard of them I'll, I'll very quickly check that but like um, yeah it's just it's, it, it's a, it, is a, it does a lot of things that other games have tried to do and not done as well as them it's a masterpiece of game design for a lot so of reasons it's, it's not the first game but it's their first oh I remember this game so they did a game called Squids Squids. which was a a mobile game which actually seemed quite good oh, okay sure and then they did a game called combo crew which again was a was a uh mobile game okay sure um but it's their first like console release this is their first console release okay. and their first um like bigger game serious game yeah. almost um but yeah it's it's sublime the, the, it's, it shows those guys knew exactly what they were doing and mm. how to go about doing it it's okay and every every boss is unique and interesting in like completely different ways like they all have their own 
but still builds on everything that's yeah, but it's, it, but they're all they're all unique, but they still play with the language that you already know. And you're still like, and because they're doing that, the moment where they're like, "I'm a ripping one of your tools away," like yeah. in the the gun for yeah, the last samurai fight. fight or the last fight. It's when they just do that. It's okay. Changes that game where like we thought we thought when we got to that fight with the night guy, the mm. hand, and the last phase of that is like a berserk where he's just like mashing yeah. on you, and we went, "All right, you need to learn how to parry there." And it's like. You'd see nothing until you got to that samurai guy where yeah. you're like, you fucking learn to parry. Yeah. You'd better do but it. But you need to parry dead. and then like any window you have to attack. Yeah, you need like, to understand timing windows of animations and stuff like that. It's per- it's perfect yeah. at that. It's a game that I, like every possible level I should not like, but is in my top five games of the year. Yeah. Like it's nuts. It's crazy. Okay. Are we happy with the bottom three? Are we literally just fighting with the top two here? I think so, yeah. Okay. Just like to, just to the division... It splits the line really well of that's a thing that is it, it's 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 triple a game but it's like it's incredibly well designed it looks amazing yep. and we had a lot of fun playing it totally we like, still have fun playing we're it still, like, yeah, like we're the, still playing it and it's, like the, i think the problem because I, I raised this when we we're talking about um destiny when destiny came out um was that like a lot of people were pissed with that game rightly so for the lack of content that was yeah. there but like i was not the person that came over every night and played destiny yeah like if, if you are that person for sure there's not enough stuff there oh, for yeah, you yeah. to do sure. but like as a person who spent maybe five hours a week on it yeah like right. there was enough in between for me to then go okay yeah I'm gonna do the thing yeah. and then okay I'll do a couple of patrol missions and all this like yeah. it's fine for the division like a lot of people were like but there's no end game content and like we spent like 20 hours getting to yeah, max like level or something, yeah. like doing side stuff and yep. then like literally by the time we finished the story like we were only like a month after release we got it something like that yeah we we finished the story and then about a couple of weeks later that underground, underground stuff hit, came. Right? and that underground stuff is perfect and underground was great yeah. exactly what you needed and then like we left under, we stopped doing the underground stuff ready for the next one yeah. they delayed it and did the 1.3 patch yes which totally like that game is infinitely more playable yes, now than totally. it was before and then survival is great really 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 smart mix and up like of mechanics total and change of that game yeah. the way you play that but game it's really is... clever in that way for yeah. sure um, it's a really good yeah that's yeah. a really solid three for the site i think yeah it's just those it's top just two those how two. do you choose between those two completely different the games? only thing the only thing i can say is that we're looking at doom in isolation what do you mean we're looking at the campaign there are two other things that the multiplayer true is like gash yeah. and the snap map stuff so like, I, I will, apparently it's pretty impressive there's some, I've not touched it there's some interesting stuff in snap map yeah. but like once I finished the campaign I was like I'm going to check out snap map and poked about and there's, yeah. some, like, there's a MOBA in there yeah the MOBA looks cool which I played and was like and there's like a there's a cool kind of weird hard mode thing with XP that they've added yeah. where like you start a route or it's not it's um, it's zombies mode from Call of Duty yeah. where they're like you buy weaponry and then you eventually get enough money to unlock the door to the next sure, bit yeah. like, like that stuff is yeah, awesome super smart, right? yeah. and I imported that stuff into the in-game editor and looked at it and went you've put a lot of work yeah. into this um, but then I they put out it was like three or four months later they put out the Vulcan patch for yeah. that thing and I was like I wonder how well this runs it turns out really fucking well yeah um, and I was like oh I should check in the snap map again and it was like the same 10 levels were at the top and nothing's happening and I was like oh, okay and they put two expansion packs to that game yeah. of multiplayer stuff yeah. I'm like, Who, like who's gives playing that yeah it's that's <sighs> the only that's the only thing I can say yeah. but at the same time that campaign is so good it's, it's so tight it, it's it's incredible and it like it it goes from like really crazy serious stuff to like completely dumb irreverent there's no like, serious stuff what serious stuff is there it, well no the character's not serious but like when you look at it not from the perspective of the doom marine where it's like all it is it's a story about like people discover to get to hell but then they're trying to like harvest resources from it to better humanity oh, right, and all yeah. that sort of, the reason like, why they're doing it the, the whole reason behind it but then at the end of it they find the device and it's just fucking beam saber. So the other, oh, so yeah, there's that. Like, yeah, and then there's the, the 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 kind of ambient stuff going on right or where there's like the official UEC guidelines. Oh, and give yourself over to demons about like yeah. if you get taken over by a demon, here's how you should please act. Accept it. Yeah, like, yeah, like we will clean please, out we will clean out your desk and all that. Please control. remember that you're here for sacrifices yeah. and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, and then I didn't realize this until very recently, until somebody mentioned it. But like the speech that the doctor gives at the end. Yeah, is the text from doom 2 
and like also that doctor right uh-huh so samuel hayden uh-huh if you take it normally right s hayden yeah it's satan <laughs> that's a stretch come on satan that's <laughs> I mean, if you say it like that, yes. <laughs> if you write it as S. Hayden. But why would Satan have to get he's, he's you just, to get the sword out? I don't know, but he's now going to be Satan. He's got the fucking hell beam saber. I, I, gave, I gave really good. <laughs> really fun, <dude. laughs> I really fucking love Doom. Like, if we weren't doing this now, after having this conversation, I would probably go play Doom. Yeah, like, I kind of want to play Doom again. But also, like... Again, so at the same time, I also want to play Fury so like on the, Fury. I like, totally, literally um, wanted to do like I when I we were talking about this when I knew this was going to be up there. I went and played the PC version. Yeah, turned all the graphics up and stuff yeah. like that. I was like, I'm just turning this up just to see what it looks like. And then I was on stage four. I'm yeah. like, oh fuck! I need to stop doing yeah. this before I continue. Um, it could totally be either. of it them. It could be either. Like that's the thing is, I would be happy with either of them. But they say that. Uh, my heart and my heart as much as i love fury i think it's sublime my heart just tells me that doom is you're probably right yeah but like there's I... so much about doom that i think is just brilliant it's and like it's they, like that's they the... brought they brought back like collectibles in a in a modern shooter and you actually cared and did it in fact you know what like that the, the fact that the first collectible you do you fist bumps you fist bumps that it's yeah this great good, this good ones. it's no um yeah. But you like they, they like made it matter and like but and it's, and it's a thing that no other shooter has done in years and they came back and went nah Doom had secrets we're gonna put secrets in it and they did it and it actually links into both gameplay and your like direct gamer mind there that are, is like I need to find this there are very very few games that have done reboots of old stuff that have been so reverent to their source material yeah. it looks while back still and being understands modern. that it doesn't just remaster it and go here's Doom it understands why Doom was good at the time yep. and brings it forward. Totally. And it's... Mm -hmm. And, like, I think that's the thing. Like, there's, there's layers to this that get glossed over where everyone's like, no, it just plays really well. But actually, when you think about it, like, all of the mechanical stuff is so... Like, there's... It's really easy to look at it as a big dumb shooter that yeah. just plays really well. Yeah. But so much design had to go into, like, oh, yeah. those core concepts. Yeah. And even just the stuff, like... Yeah, it's the fact that like I was going and I was like I was on the way like the first time I'm about to jump to hell. Yeah, I was like, oh, it'd be really funny if like the 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 there's like a red key and it's a skull and yeah. it fucking was. It was a red key and it was, it was great. Yeah, I was like, like damn, yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay. you know exactly what you're doing. Yeah, um, I'm trying to think if there's any like like what would I pick out? Like again, like I think the huge caveat on this probably winning this. Yeah, is that. We have to just pretend the multiplayer doesn't I know, exist. And I I I don't like that. But like but... you wanna talk about like even if you wanna talk about like things you should go play right now. Yeah. Like if they'd sold that game at full price without that multiplayer, yeah. It's still probably the best game of the year. Oh yeah, yeah. Um Like even yeah, if the multiplayer didn't exist, it would still It's still I would still yeah. recommend it to people. Like, it, it, I'm wondering if it's better or worse that we're saying, here's a game where a third of the advertise Like, literally, like it's literally that first... That yeah, there's you, three things a on single that. single player snap, snap map and multiplayer, yeah. and one of those things is terrible. Yeah. It's still the you best still, game of yeah, the year. You should still play that, yeah. Yeah, okay. Like, I think that... I think that particular people should play Fury... Totally. I think everyone should play Fury. I think Doom. everyone should try Fury. Oh, everybody should try Fury. But like, if people are coming to me and recommending stuff, I'd be like, you need everyone to play should Doom. probably play you Doom. You should play Doom. Everyone should play Doom. Yeah. Like, I kind of want to go play Doom. I really want to play Doom. <sighs> okay. I think that's right. So if you look at this, and our game of the year twenty sixteen is Doom. Yep. How crazy is that I to know, say? I know. I know. Twenty sixteen. Followed by Fury at two, Division at three, Hitman at four, Overwatch at five. I really like that. I think. As a combined list of stuff that we both were yep. super into this year, yep. I think I'm okay with that. I I really like it, and I think I think, I think for a site that totally. that says what we like, and I think perfectly. that um, 
Yeah, like again, the only thing that's that's getting me is that there's no there's no like big narrative kicks in there, but also there wasn't really a lot of that. There was this a year. lot of like big narrative stuff. Like And then you look at but then again you look at like the the like Virginia getting that best well not winning but like having that yeah, best, moment that best moment thing. And what was the smaller game again? Being up for inside, like, yeah, inside okay. being for smaller sure, and yeah. like Virginia being in the original and then, song like, and a bunch of that stuff's gonna get get calls out in my top five. Oh yeah, totally. So. Like that's what your top five is for. But I think for a combined list, totally. that's, I think that's right. These are the things we talked like about the, the most the, this the year. Game, the games that we were most enthusiastic about this year were Doom and Fury. Yeah. Like, without it. Like, again, I'm looking at it with, like, like Overwatch is the thing that stands out for me as, like, maybe it shouldn't be there. But then I'm thinking back and I'm like, I cared about balance patch notes and tears in that game. Yeah. And I don't give a fuck about that stuff. Yeah. And actually there I was like, oh, we're, they're, they're nerfing D.Va and they're yeah. really interesting. And I'm like, who am I? Man, these, these D.Va buffs are actually pretty yeah, good. Yeah, like, like, I, used, like the, I used the phrase D.Va buffs in yeah. a normal, like, sentence and didn't feel dirty. Yeah. Like, it was... Yeah, okay. Let's I do think, that. yeah. I'm, I'm... Game of the Year 2016 is Doom. Fuck yes. <laughs> with Fury at 2, Division at 3, Hitman at 4, Overwatch at 5. Yep. I'm okay That's, with that. I'm good with that. I'm okay I really like that. that. I'm happy so with that. So I would also say again to everyone watching or listening... The games we've mentioned in all of the categories here are all great. Apart from yeah. ones we've the joke ones are not. Yeah, we do that. No, and also ones. like the most disappointing. Like we've said them for a reason. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but cool. also like yeah, yeah. Like everything we've talked about is something that we are we care about for one way or another. As, as, yeah. as, because of who we are as a site, like yeah. we only really play the stuff we're interested in. Yeah. So like any of the stuff we've talked about over the year or have made it into these, like it's stuff that we've genuinely paid yeah. money for and been interested and in. Been, like we want to play this. So they are well worth like as a starting point to be like, what the fuck should I play next? Like yeah. here's a good list of stuff. This is this is stuff you should probably take a look at. Uh, but then that you can look at the other lists and like our own personal lists. Like Yeah, if, so like I like again if there's stuff that, if there's stuff there's there's stuff that I like that you and won't that if Totally. You... Like I I think like if you've listened to us before you know the splits yeah, we have we in this how, stuff. Yeah. Um so you could probably look at look at stuff like that. Um and then kind of gauge yeah. what we think would be there. I think we've I think we've done some good work. I think we've done good work. Yeah. I think we've been alright. And really I happy feel with okay about this, yeah. I feel okay about a lot of that stuff. Like it wasn't Yeah, okay. Yeah. Sure. So yeah, twenty seventeen we're here. Hell of a year. <laughs> should be real interesting. Yeah. Like um we have a bunch, be fun. We've got a bunch of stuff planned and like I'm I'm will I'm wanting to put a lot more into a lot of the stuff that we're yeah, doing and like I, I, I want to get back into like even this is just for me like because of the way we run this like we kind of just do what we can when we have time yeah it's and i'm like i, I want to be able to now that i'm not doing things like planning a wedding like i have time to be able to go right okay i'm actually gonna go fucking play torrens passage and oh dude play it play yeah, on the yeah. site and, and do all that kind of stuff um yeah there'll be a bunch of stuff happening to the site in the first three months and we'll yeah. We'll get there. We'll get there eventually. So yeah, that's um, that's our that's our deliberations. These are our actual game of the year stuff. Um, so what to expect? If you go to there will be a banner on the site. I've worked all this out. There will be a yeah, sure. There will be a banner on the site which has our landing page for all of our game of the year stuff. So these deliberations will be there. We will be publishing probably after this. We'll be publishing our our write up of these categories, and we'll have oh, yeah, we'll better explanations of, of of why we did this stuff. And then we're going to do individual top five videos yep. um, to try and explain the stuff we were super why we care about why we care yeah. yeah why we care about them um, and then yeah we've got all the other content we're going to be there we've got some really interesting stuff I want to try and get done this year and yeah we'll see how it goes but yes a lot of, a lot of stuff that we can do I think yeah. so thank you for watching um, as, as usual gameengestart.com is where you'll find all of our stuff if you're watching us on YouTube you can find everything else we have on there and yep. youtube.com slash game engine start vice versa uh yeah thank you for watching this amazing amount of video that got That's gonna be fun yeah. jesus i've got to edit this shit i know Whew. i still have much editing no but it's like loading a 32 gig video file into that thing is interesting especially if i'm like oh it's not quite the right frame rate like, render render yeah, I'll render see, I'll, I'll see you in, <laughs> i'll see you in five hours yeah. then you see but yes Yes, thank you for watching and listening. We'll see you in the new year. In the new year. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye.